What's up, everybody? Welcome to Flagrant. Today, we got a boys episode. Listen, Drake dropped an album, okay? Mm -hmm. Also sold out two shows at Scotiabank Arena. What? Whoa. That's an amazing accomplishment. Bro, fuck. A lot yeah, of that's, people, bro. That is a lot of people, man. Congrats to, to Drake. Listen, shout out to Drake for something. Hey. Two shows, Scotiabank Congratulations. Arena. Congratulations. Let's go, man. That was, that was incredible. What an amazing thing that he did, man. He should be very proud of himself. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I mean? You got to work. can do that. Now they can't, and you got to work incredibly Rarified hard. Rarified air. Yeah, you, he must have had a great team of support yeah, around him have. to achieve that. Must And an incredible fan base to really want to see him great win. Great openers, probably. All also? Absolutely incredible openers. <laughs> yeah. That's what I meant by team, but yeah. if you want two compliments, yeah. sure, you we can need have that. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm just saying. How about Drake, dude? Yeah, yeah, it's just a Drake thing. Yeah. Well, obviously, we're talking yeah. about Drake, yeah. Um, so he absolutely killed that. Now, the album comes out. I will say this. He's been in the top of the, the music game for 10 years. Okay? 10 years? Is at that least. The at, yeah. least. At, at least. Maybe 15. Okay. At least, for the last five to seven, he's got it on lock. Yeah. The pressure of putting out a project... And every single time, if it doesn't go number one, it's a failure. Yeah. yeah. Is unbelievable. And he drops a lot. And he drops a lot. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, Kendrick is dropping less, and he's, I think, a, 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 it's a different approach to an album, per se, but he's dropping a lot. And if it's not number one, it is a failure, and everybody is chomping at the bit to say, oh, he fell off, or oh, he's not what he used to be, oh, it's not good enough, et cetera, while also innovating. I think I understand why the criticism comes out because nobody can conceptualize what he's going through. Nobody has empathy for what he's going through and nobody can put themselves in that mind state of the pressure of having to be number one, amazing, phenomenal, every single time or you're a failure. And appeasing such a wide base of fans now. Yeah, he's yeah. so mainstream it's, now. It's, so I think the knee-jerk reaction to any time the person who's on top puts out a project is to find the things that you don't like in it. And I think we've seen a lot of that, right? Yeah. It, the person who's on the way up, you're finding everything about it that you see promise yeah. in. Why are they the GOAT? Yeah. He's next. This is the thing. This is why he's so good. Look at his flow on that. You're looking at, you're looking at the few good songs on that Up and Comers album and not looking at any of the misses. Yeah. Yeah. When you're at the top, if there's two misses, you're going, man, but those are whack. What's going on? What's that? You know. So I think, I wonder if he's aware of this and going back and forth with people online simply as a marketing tool, because I don't see him going back and forth online if he's not dropping. But now that he's dropping, he's back and forth with everybody. Mm -hmm. So I wonder if he's doing it as a marketing tool or if he's going through the insane vulnerability of putting out a finished product and then you just have to wait for the reaction. Hmm. Music ain't comedy. Comedy, we go up and we workshop jokes. We know if a joke ain't working, or it is. Yeah. By the time we drop our special, we're aware of it. Yeah. Music is, I think I know how to make this music and I finished making it and I'm putting it out and fucking fingers crossed. Yeah, that's crazy, dude. That's so, crazy. So there's part of me that goes, okay, he's just going back and forth for marketing. And then there's another part of me that's just like, nah, this is fucking vulnerable as hell. Mm -hmm. But we've never seen that from him before. Going back and forth? Yeah. Nah, that he's, when has he he's gone calculated back in the comments. He's, he's, I mean, he's going ham on it now. Like, he, <laughs> he, he like, Andrew Tate did this thing about how, like, how can you be a man from Canada? Like, how can you call yourself a man? Yo, that is hilarious. And he was in the comments on this. That uh, is fucking hilarious. Yeah, you know, no, no. he did a whole rant about it. And Drake is in the comments on this uh, blog from Toronto, Keep Six Solid, I think it's called. And he goes, uh, he goes, uh, green light with a smiley face, mm -hmm. but also green light. Yeah, yeah okay. Mm. Yeah. You don't think it's happening? I don't know. I don't think it's happening. But what about the people that do that kind of behavior for him? I mean, he's got to have protection to be in a rap game. Well, to your point, if it's calculated. You're a Texas boy. You don't believe in Jake Prince? I do, but I don't think he is going to publicly say green light and then it's a green light. Of course. No. You know what I mean? No, nah, but all of his super fans or people who want to get in good with him, I could see them easily being like, oh, shit. He put that message out there. Let's try to get in his. Now I curry favor, favor from uh, from Drake by handling business. Yeah, yeah. You That's just, usually how it works. Yeah. Like the head dude doesn't have to like call you up and say, "Yo, get get you know, finish that guy." Mm -hmm. He just goes, "Man, this guy's a real inconvenience." Yep. Yeah, <laughs> just a little. This guy's subtle, real frustrating. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it would be a shame if anything happened to him. But you got to get out to him. Like, where is Andrew Tate? He's still in Romania. I think so. On house arrest, if I'm not mistaken. You can get a Romanian been lifted, though, but, like, right? 
Drake could get a Romanian. Who's oh. going to Romania, though? The, the Romanians. He just needs one bar. I mean, he got the Czechoslovakians and the Yugoslavians ready to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He gave them one bar, and I see him posting like crazy. <laughs> Yugoslavia don't even exist no more. <laughs> Every country that used to be part of Yugoslavia is charged to fuck up. Yeah. You know those boys don't play around. Yeah, I, mean, I think that's who he hires to take out Tate. Hmm. Bro, if Drake kills Andrew Tate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. Yo. <laughs> yeah. Man, yeah, he's, a, he's back to being a feminist hero. Yeah, <laughs> women are gonna love him. That's yeah. true. <laughs> for all the dogs, for all the bitches, bro. That's yeah. really what it is. <laughs> Whoa, what a crazy! Do you finally put some respect on Drake? Oh, I'm loving this Drake. I've always said, I, look, he's probably the greatest rapper ever. He's just not for me because I'm a fucking virgin. Yeah. And who didn't try to go out there and fuck everybody. Oh, so but you just this don't guy, relate to that. I just don't relate to the music. I can't yeah. live through it. But I can live through a billionaire who's like, who wants to smoke? I'm going to fuck all of you in the comments. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to go on this guy's that's exactly comment. what you would that's do. that's what I would do. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what I would do. I'm loving this new Drake. Okay. So you like the, some people would call it petty. You yes, like petty dude, Drake. I'm petty. And this guy's a billionaire and still petty. I love that. Mm. Now, do you think it's calculated or do you think it's... I do think it's, I think he knows this is, it's good promo. Mm -hmm. So it is a little calculated. He's like, I want to say it, fuck them. And also it's good promo. So he justifies the emotion of wanting to say it. Mm -hmm. There's nothing holding him back now. Mm -hmm. He's like, fuck, fuck, who the fuck is this podcaster talking shit about me? Yeah. I'm going to fuck, I want to leave a comment. And then the logical side, it's like, yo, that guy might not be worth it. He's like, yo, fuck that. This is actually promo for me. So let's do, win, win. Oh yeah. Let I me mean, say whatever I want to say. Dance, dance, dance. Yeah. Now's the time. Like shake shit up, cause the controversy. And to your point, man, when you're on top for a decade plus, it's like everybody's going to have something to say. Yeah. I think one thing he has though, is I realize Drake fans are male Swifties, male beehive, whatever. Like when you're a Drake stan, mm -hmm. you ride for that motherfucker so hard. Yeah. And that's another incentive to talk shit to people because my fans are going to put a battery in my back. Yo, is, is, are, is Drake like the male Kim Kardashian? And I say that wow. in terms of, no, 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 hold, <laughs> hold on, hold on now, hold on now. He got it, some hips on him. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I'm with you on that too, Drake. <laughs> hold on a second. It, and I say that in terms of, Kim is probably the greatest influencer in history to women, right? Mm -hmm. Literally has changed the way like women's faces look around the world, right? Okay. Changed the way their bodies have looked. Like they are all emulating her. You can yeah. go to any country in the world and there are women that kind of look like mm -hmm. Kim, yeah. right? Changed the way women use makeup, everything. Drake has an aesthetic mm -hmm. that guys are copying. Oh, yeah. yeah. You see guys that are... What? What aesthetic? <laughs> you don't think guys are trying to look like Drake? No. I feel like everybody clowns him and they say he can't dress and not clothing. Like but what? like haircut, haircut, beard. beard. Oh, maybe I just haven't noticed it. I honestly, I swear to God, I'm not even capping. Can here. you look at Al's face right now? <laughs> I swear to God, With his I'm not glasses capping. and his beard trying to look as much as he can like Drake. You mean just having a beard? Yeah, beards weren't cool until Drake. <laughs> Nails, nail Drake, polish, nail you polish. Nail polish. Oh, you okay. trying to now, look like Drake. Now I see what we doing. You okay. trying to be Drake right now. So everything right now. I did first. Okay, okay. Yeah, you yeah, trying yeah. to be Drake, you're, bro. You're right, you're right. Well, tell me what you thought of the album from your boy. <laughs> bro, so, I, I was dressed like this right now. <laughs> Yo. Come on, man. <laughs> oh You've been trying to be Drake for the last three years, Al. That's you hilarious. went to Burning Man once. That's a <laughs> You had a religious experience. <laughs> Okay, and then you try to turn into motherfucking Drake. That is Drake. Mm -hmm. that or is, wait a minute. That's Jesus. That is Drake. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> that is so, true. So, okay, maybe Al disagrees, but I do think you could say that he has had a physical influence on the way people look. Like, I think people are trying to kind of emulate the Drake look mm -hmm. in the way that Kim has done that for women. Yeah. What other dude are people trying to look like? I don't think people are trying to look like Kendrick. There was a time where people were influenced by the way Jay-Z, not think even the, the way Jay-Z dressed, but the way he told people to not dress. Mm -hmm. This is clothing more than facial whatever, but I think the biggest impact on the way dudes look is Kanye, rap-wise. Kanye wears something, we wear something. So as much as I want to, <sighs> yo, I don't want to take shots at this guy that everybody knows I kind of hate on, yep. that I have to give to Kanye. Yep. And I can't give that to Drake. You're backing, you're backing Kanye right now? 
Yeah. On this weekend? How the hell are you going to do it? Of all weekends, bro. Oh, You're going to side with Kanye? Dude, I'm sorry. <laughs> he sides with the you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You. You guys. You guys. guys. I know what you's is. <laughs> no, so yeah, Kanye fired fire. some trademarks. Uh, filed for, some trademarks. <laughs> filed. Yeah, yeah sorry. Yeah. Filed some trademarks for you's. Y-E-W-S. <laughs> that... Does anybody know? We don't know, but it's fire. <laughs> Why is it fire? I don't know. It's fire. We know it's fire. Maybe he's just from Philly, yo. Use guys. Yeah. Use guys. Yeah. Do you think that it's possible that Kanye... Okay, Kanye has this thing about him where, like, even though you're like, oh, he's so fucking annoying, he'll do things that make you laugh. Yes. Right? There's That's this undeniable. thing about him that is undeniably, like, charming. Yeah. Okay? Even though he's annoying and can say the worst shit, he can also just say something in an instant that makes you just start laughing. Mm -hmm. He's okay. got that Trump thing, yeah. He does, yeah. Okay, do you think people with that level of charm and likability just, they're not actually sociopaths. They just know that whatever trouble they get themselves into, they can get themselves out of in a heartbeat so they stop worrying about what they say because they know that <laughs> yeah. it's like a hot chick. It's like, I, I, I can be bitchy, Dude. but like, you're gonna fuck me. <laughs> You, you know, know what I mean? Like, you know what's crazy is I do a podcast with a guy like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's really crazy, actually. I, when you I, think about that's it. That's the greatest compliment. <laughs> that's the greatest buddy. compliment you've ever given my life. Thank you so much. <laughs> tour announcement. The Life Tour is coming back to the United States of America, baby. Okay? We got three shows that go on pre-sale today. If you're watching this on Tuesday, Tuesday, 10 a.m., Chicago, Boston, Washington, D.C., those three cities go on sale today, 10 a.m. The pre-sale code is Andrew. You can get it at my website, theandrewschultz.com. I will see you guys there. Also, we're coming to Europe. As you are watching this, we're probably on a flight to Europe. We'll see you there in Dublin. We added another show in Manchester. See you there in Glasgow. We'll see you there in Amsterdam. We'll see you there in London. Um, and then we're going out to Abu Dhabi. Appreciate y'all so much. And then, of course, after that, Australia. TheAndrewSchultz.com for all those tickets. Love you guys. Appreciate y'all. Peace. Also, guys, I am still on tour. October 27th through 29th, I'm going to be in Atlanta, Georgia. I haven't been there in almost two years. Can't wait to come back. Portland, Oregon, December 1st and 2nd. I am not looking forward to being there, but I am going to be in your shit city. So if you want a reprieve from that godforsaken hellhole that you live in, Oregonians, Come to my shows, December 1st and 2nd. Also, December 8th, New Orleans, Louisiana. And again, this is important. December 17th through 19th, I'm in the UK. The London tickets are almost sold out. I think Glasgow is as well. So hurry up and buy those tickets and more at akashsing.com. Now let's get back to the show. It is true, though. Like, Kanye is trolling a whole religion. And normally when someone trolls a religion, it's terrorism. Yes. It's like racist. We're, we're just like, oh, he's a troll. He's trolling an entire ethnic group. And we're yeah. just like, ah, this guy. It's, it's kind of wild. It's a wacky yeah. troll. He's just. <laughs> Imagine if Dylan was posting wild shit about the Virgin Mary. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. what this is essentially. Yeah, oh. literally. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what a challenge. Like, is that in his brain? You know how, like, his comedians were like, okay, what is what is a what is a taboo topic that you can't joke around about? Okay, I want to write a joke yes. about that. There's, like, a challenge to it, right? It, is he? You've always kind of said that about Kanye, that he wants to lose black people and then win them back. Mm. I want to say with the dominant... Is he trying to lose Jews and win them back? <laughs> Maybe. Because well, they're much less forgiving. Black people will forgive, especially if you're funny. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> is, he, is he testing his charm on Jews? He's like, <laughs> yeah. is he like, who is the least? They're like, never forget. And he's like, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you think this that, is his greatest undertaking, yeah. Hmm. You know that bit that you're like. Because he knows like, he can get white people back. He just has to hate Jews. <laughs> 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 Bro, is that what he's doing? Is he just playing like a game of pinball with like pissing groups off and then winning them over by hating on other groups? <laughs> Maybe. Whoa. Yeah, dude. You saw the video he did with the toes? What happened? The pedicure? It? I had to turn the volume on. And I was like, I can't do this. That, that's that's your threshold? That's your bar? No, subtitle it. Yeah, <laughs> come on, dude. We need this. So you're just getting a pedicure, and then in the middle of the pedicure, he goes, I'm done. And the woman's like, oh, but it's, I'm not. I didn't do the buffer. He goes, I'm done. And she goes, oh, no, but just sit down. He goes, they're my toes. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> they're my toes. So nothing. They're my toes. <laughs> uh, oh, yo, didn't that? Was all the documentary footage that leaked from the 2018 unreleased documentary? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just shitting on everyone, dude. It's <laughs> yeah. like what Drake is doing publicly. He's doing privately. Yeah. He's just going at everybody. I forget who, but he. He yeah, said Cardi B was a plant. Yeah, Cardi oh, yeah. B was an industry plant. Yeah. He went at a bunch of people. Do you believe in the uh, the Drake Rihanna shit? What that he was taking shots at Rihanna. What do you think? Yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah. And what do you the, think? The that's lines about? are too close. I mean, he's a petty motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, he is. Do you think he's upset that he's not with her? That's what it sounds like. Sounds that like. is what it reads like. Yeah. yeah right. But he's got to be aware of that. Because like, I because I think when they when she first announced she was pregnant, didn't he unfollow ASAP or some shit oh, like that? Oh yeah, I vaguely remember this. Yeah. And he said he smashed. Yes. Yeah. He's just strict. Wow. <laughs> you know, Brianna's been with some rappers, but that's not like a crazy, yeah. mm-hmm. like Meek. I'm pretty sure. Wait, that's really? remember when Meek and Chris Brown and Drake got in that whole thing, like the club. They started fighting. Oh and yeah, it, the, yeah. The rumor was it was over Rihanna. All of them fighting over Rihanna. Remember they were throwing bottles, bottles and shit like that. Sure. Drake's team yeah. was throwing bottles at Chris Brown. It was this whole brawl. I think Meek tweeted something like, "These girls are for the game. They're not for you or whatever." Mm-hmm. So the the rumor was Meek got with her, Drake got with her, Chris Brown had obviously publicly been with her. So, so Rihanna like, got the most fire box on the planet. <laughs> uh, yeah, of course. Three superstars yeah. fighting each other in a club. Yeah, of course. And the same girl they all fucked. Pre ASAP. Wow. So you could say Rihanna's been with dudes, but I think she'd be like, yeah, but I run that. Yeah. Yo, and she chose Rocky, man. She chose Rocky. Damn. She don't need your money. She's a billionaire on her own. Drake might be a billionaire. She's. Publicly a billionaire. Yeah. Got a fucking company that could be on Forbes one day. What you going to tell me? I like who I like. New York swag, bro. Can't be beat. Mm-hmm. The box is mm-hmm. mid. You That's New Rocky, York, yeah. <laughs> you Keep talking you... shit about our accent. <laughs> yeah. Keep talking shit about our accent. The worst accent. Yo, haters, because they don't have our fucking accent. You saw <laughs> They said, but they talk you, about did the you women. hear this? They talk about the women. Now, nah, hold up, hold up, hold up. You just made a lot of sense. Can you yeah, can you explain what's going on right now? They're saying the ugliest accent is the New York accent, but they're talking about the women with the New York accent. And can we it's just like the, can we the just keep it a buck? Can we just keep it a buck and be like, they right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo, New York women, cut that shit out. <laughs> yo, stop trying to talk like us. No, Tor- <laughs> Toronto girls with this Toronto accent. Bro, that, that one is, girl. You saw that one. It made me sick to my stomach. <laughs> yo, you. made me <laughs> sick, fam. You leave your moms in the snow, fam. That makes me <laughs> sick. That makes me sick. Gotta waste these youths, fam. Yo, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, what are you talking about? That shit was hard. I know. I ain't gonna so lie. you gotta bring that shit up. I was dying. Bro. That's the Drake influence, though. That is that Drake. I mean, I, you do the joke about this, but like Drake changed the way Canadians talk. It's true. And that's wild. It is true. They oh, whatever like influence that. Drake got here, ten x in Canada. Hundred percent. Oh, he yeah, runs yeah. Canada. Yeah, yeah. That's prime minister. No one here is talking like that. <laughs> like, no, you, you hear people be like, "Oh, tings," you know. Oh, like, that's sliding there, in. There's a couple of tings at the club. That that's what Top Boy Drake. made me realize. That's no, Drake. no, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is the crazy thing. It comes from British slang. But Drake is the reason why it's being used here. So yeah. he didn't start it, but he influenced it. Yeah, I give it this thing a two bush crazy. It's Kim Kardashian <laughs> with cornrows. No way, no way. I feel I'm like telling you, it's Kim. has more fucking influence than Drake. In I, terms I, I of what? It. Like you walk down Soho, there's a bunch On of ASAPs you? walking around. I'm just saying, I just fly. <laughs> so yeah, but in terms of language, today wasn't the day. Today was a light. Today wasn't a day. It was a light one. It was a light I mean, one. you still put together, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's not ASAP. You can't be like he influenced me. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, you I look know. like you go to Yale. Yeah, stop it, <laughs> bro. And you're it's my a compliment right now. It's a compliment. <laughs> it's an Ivy League school. Yes, only what? you would be upset. What about you, that. What? you look smart and educated. I'm not educated. Fuck you, bro. I know. <laughs> Sorry. What do you think an understudy is? Uh, that's an acting term for the guy that's gonna take your role. That would be your TA. But that's what the fuck you I dumb meant. motherfucker. You don't even know the fucking term. You don't look like you're going to yell, bro. You know what I'm <laughs> I take that back immediately. Okay, bring this. Bring Can't this. Let Bob Bob's this what I don't God, like is it. if the business is true that you left your moms in the hood, this somebody go smoke that you. You don't leave your moms nowhere. You have money and you left your moms there. Yo, you're sick to my stomach, fam. But if it's not <laughs> left, <laughs> you're just shit. <laughs> Yo, you're <laughs> sick to my stomach, fam. Oh, bro, that's, that's gotta be the worst that's accent, awful. right? That's for awful. a girl to have. Nah, right? nah, New York is still worse. No, nah, really? nah, yeah. nah. You never heard a girl say "suck my dick" in a New York accent? Bro, it's bad. <laughs> Obviously, that's they have a not comment. Lied. Can you, you? Y'all never had? No. Oh, if you get God. Brooklyn, like a real Brooklyn girl, it's crazy. or it's Bronx, crazy. It's, I don't it's, even know how they have sex with them girls. 
<laughs> suck my dick. No, you suck my dick. <laughs> it's, <laughs> yo, it's too much, bro. I'm telling you, the New York female accent, when they really lean in, yeah. like an Italian girl from Brooklyn, oh. is crazy. Do they, do they do that in bed still, you think? Yeah. That's how they still talk even more than fuck? Yes, the bro. Bed still? Yeah, you know the area in Brooklyn, bed still? No, is that how they talk while you're in bed, like, still? Like, do they keep the accent while they're fucking? Look, look at you whack bars like Drake right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, Why you on your man? Come nah, on, bro. I'm this album was light. What did you want from it? I just want more rapping. Like, it was just too slow. The slogan. whole album is rapping. No, it's not. It's like a fucking R&B album, for the most part. That's also fire. So it's just not for me. I'm, it's not a bad album. It's just I happens, like bro. more. Alex gets engaged and he's like, I hate this soft shit. You know what I mean? Yo. That's what happens. I love that's what happens. It's too toxic. No, go, I have a change. Go, man that's what I'm saying, dude. bro. Go ten years ago, like New York. You used to be a dog, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this album used to be four. You used to be a real dog. Now you a fucking doodle. Now I was not a dog sucked. anymore. That sucked, man. Like, doodle's a dog. <laughs> fucking retard. <laughs> <laughs> Point got him. Well, you, got you, got point. Me. you got me. You got me. You got me. <laughs> That's a good point. Dude. Okay, what's worst accent? What's best accent for dudes? Obviously, New York is the best accent for dudes. No, dude. No. Well, what is it? In, nah, you got to give it to the Brits. <laughs> nah, I wouldn't to say. To the what? The Brits. No, I'm saying in America. In America. Oh, in America. America. Oh, okay, I was singing uh, Brits. Best accent for dudes in America is New York accent. Out of that country twang. Oh, country. But you're not listening to that shit all day. Like, nah. if, what if you need directions from somewhere and there's some motherfucker with a goddamn, yeah, yeah, like a corn cob pipe and he's just, well, make a right by the water mill. That shit sounds fire, actually. <laughs> that shit, act like it. Be honest. That just sounded I mean, it's fire. Kinda, it's pretty good. And that's pretty a lot good. for Alex Not to say. Not like a New Yorker. Good. Watch that's how disgusting this is. It really is. Most no. people with that accent don't give Al directions. They don't like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you no. want some directions? Get the fuck yeah. out of here. Yeah. Huh? Well, you just go up on that. sound beautiful when they say it. <laughs> you just go up on that tree, put your neck <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know about a Southern accent, but which Southern? Because there's some real hee-haw Southern accents that I don't think you're going to, like the Appalachian Mountain shit with the banjo, oh, yeah, I don't think that that's number one. You want like a suave, like a North Carolina. Like a Nashville. Oh, yeah, like yeah. South Nashville would probably, want, probably be yes. good. You want something with elegance, mm. something with a plantation. Don't what? say that. No, no, but not. They don't still work, make it work. But what? They don't still. Now do it's it. just a home. It's just a home that was once a plantation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What is that? Now you want like a Savannah, Georgia? Yeah, exactly. The molasses. Sam. Yeah. Drawn out. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that was funny. But if, uh, I don't know why it was funny. Vala had, had to get the mic to be gay. That's crazy, bro. He told me to take the mic. <laughs> that's, What's your favorite accent? Muslims getting Mom? confident, dude. Let's go, baby. Uh, Valley girl. What? Valley girl accent. Really? Oh, my God. On women. On women. I hate it. On women? <laughs> <laughs> on, women bro. on men, it's not as cool. <laughs> on a women. You like the Valley girl accent on yeah. men. That's, that's your favorite one. So, okay, wait. Your favorite female accent is Valley girl? Yeah. Oh. Well, are you being dead serious with this? Just, I can't they're just do hot. It. I would do New York over Valley girl. They're just hot. Like, a girl with a Valley girl accent's hot. It hurts my ears for real. Do you like dumb girls? Yeah. <laughs> so why are you so into Mark's sister? Then? What's the whole thing? Yeah. Ah, yeah, explain that. Dude. Oh my Can we god. talk about that? Can we talk oh about my god? god. Let's, Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. I got a video. Oh my god, I bought a mixed one. I got so much footage. I got so much footage so, of Miles talking, risen up Mark's sister. So, so, uh, so we're in Toronto, okay? Oh, yeah, There's nine people that got to get into our SUV. We're going from the second second show to the after party, okay? This is kind of your fault, for the record. Ma thank my you. fault thank for you. including thank you. you and your family in our SUV. Yeah, I said, hey, we'll get our own over. You said, no, we'll all fit in. Come on, we'll all fit in. <laughs> <laughs> get into the SUV, okay? Seated in front, mm -hmm. my wife, the driver. Mm. Second row, me, yep. Miles, yep. Mark's mom, Mark's yep. dad. Mm -hmm. yep. Backseat, oh, Mark, shit. <laughs> Shifty. Yep, Derek. Derek, Derek Sam. 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 Yeah. There's one more person that needs to fit in. I wasn't going to leave my sister in the cold, fam. Mark's I wasn't going to leave her in the cold, <laughs> sitting there. Sick to my stomach. Make me sick to my that. stomach, fam. Okay, so 
She's got to get in. Whose lap is she going to sit on? Miles immediately takes his pants off, which <laughs> seemed far. I felt uncomfortable yeah. with that. I was yeah. like, that's yeah. crazy. Dude, that's I literally crazy. saw him adjust his dick and Stop, put it bro. above why, his Why are you just say that? He went yeah. like, bleep it. He could have left 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 yeah, yeah, tucked, yeah, yeah, yeah. tucked it could have tucked it between, and then yeah, she'd true. sit on nothing. It'd be like sitting on pussy. But he actually flipped it yeah. up yeah, so that there would be bulge. And Miles goes... Emily, here, you could just sit on my lap. It's not a big deal. Right? He just like casually, what do you say? How'd you say it? I said, do the math, Emily. Where are you going to sit? Where are you going to sit? Ooh, that's even worse. Do the God math. Damn. That's way worse. Do the math. God. Do the math. Damn. Do the math. That's crazy. That's crazy. Married, that's way married, worse, men, married men, brother, parents. There was nowhere else. So. <laughs> there was nowhere else. <laughs> I was a sacrifice. There was nowhere else. I was a sacrifice. Yo, there was nowhere else. She, she, had had to. To. she had to sit on my face. I don't know. Man. Where was she going to sit? Sits on it. <laughs> okay? That's what Mark's I'm saying. dad immediately <laughs> takes a shot. <laughs> yeah, immediately no, takes a shot. Oh, in the car. Oh, in the car. Yo, Miles is crazy. Miles dad yeah, immediately goes, Francoise goes, goes, uh, what did you, what did you, oh yeah, no, somebody said something about uh, driving on the rubble or something. Oh, yeah, like I that. said, let's take the smooth path. We don't need to go on the bricks. And then Francoise just goes, don't worry, she's not going to feel anything anyway. <laughs> oh, damn. Damn. Son. damn. Yo, he's threatened by you, yo. Damn. He so that's why shot. he took that he's shot. Miles, shot. that was his Jordan moment. Took that shit personal. <laughs> <laughs> took that shit personal. And he was just throwing a popcorn up every once in a while. He was throwing a little bit of popcorn he got, up. He got a blue Eddie juice from got, Dove oh, and shit. Yeah. He's like, oh, yeah, you're going to remember this one. <laughs> you're going to remember this ride. <laughs> now, now, be 100% honest, Miles. During that ride, yes. did you experience any sort of blood rush to your cock? None. Why? Well, that's insulting. No, it's not insulting. That's insulting. You weren't hard at all. Yeah, I can sep- I'm. I was fully focused on the fact that we needed to get somewhere safely, and we just had a great show. You weren't driving. Okay, with all due respect, <laughs> with all due respect, did you feel any boom? <laughs> <laughs> Just, just with all due respect. That's with all due respect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just with all due. We're just I appreciate you physics. saying the respect thing. Yeah, did you, <laughs> had you done it with our respect, I would be really pissed off. Like, but but did, you, did, you, did you feel any boom, boom? No, boom. No, 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 no. You can't do two poos. Yeah. Just come on. That's that, bordering that, on that. That's why I put the third one and take oh, it back. Okay, okay, okay. If you felt <laughs> any boom, boom, boom. Did you feel any boom, boom, boom? Did you feel any? No, no, no. With all due respect, no. Oh. So you didn't get at all hard? Nope. That's a little disrespectful. I feel like that's worse. That's making yeah, me that's stick it. to my stomach. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's one, stick to my stomach. You had Mark's beautiful sister she sitting on your lap. She's incredibly Dick on nice top exactly of like Mark. Yo, 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 <laughs> yo, 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 yo. Identical yo, to me. Yo, that's a good point. Yo, nah, I'm saying you look yo. like a bitch right yeah. now. Okay, I'm just making Go sure. <laughs> but not exactly. No, we look similar though. We're related. No. Yeah. Mark got more cranium. <laughs> yeah, I am known for that. You got more cranium. Yeah, that's true. Emily's a beautiful oh, girl. Man, Should we call crazy. her up to verify that? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, hold on, hold on. Awesome, Lala <laughs> might have a video for us. Oh, oh fam. Hold on, hold on. you, <laughs> fam? What is this? Yay! Oh, Yo! shit. She got... Hold on. Emily got Miles corner, dude. He can't go anywhere. Asshole. He can't go anywhere. What is Miles this? Miles leaning up on the wall. <laughs> Breakfast club style. Son with the leg up. What you is this? Miles not even giving her his energy. Look at that. He's looking off to the distance. Uh, is that me or her? I can't. T- <laughs> Yo, with the leg Bro, up is crazy. She has you completely cornered. Miles and the Captain Morgan. Yo, he got the leg up. Oh, my know goodness. What time it is right there. Bang. Come on, Miles. What exactly is happening? What are you guys talking about right here? He had to let it breathe after that car ride, ride, bro. He did. He's like, God. That's Mark's real sister. What happened? That's my sister, dude. We were just talking about how great Mark did on stage. She was very funny, and you were very funny. And we just were talking about how great the night was. Nothing else. Why does she have to corner you and decide at a locker room? Yeah, I know. Bro, that's, 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 that's Mark's family shit. Don't ask. I, I just got cornered. <laughs> what is that shot for? <laughs> what? What is why that, that, why is it a family why? thing? Why is it generational? Yeah. Because your whole corner is just like, yeah. one <laughs> member of Mark's family who's super horny had you came into a corner of a locker room. Why are you going to put that on the entire family? Yeah. With all due respect. Horny yeah, family. we need, and also, with all due respect, yeah, 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 yeah. please. With all due respect, horny family. Lots of kids, lots of siblings. That's not... Yo, uh, that's, with all due respect... That is true. Yeah, that's yeah, true. that's not that. a lie. Yeah, that is true. I'm not saying... I'm uncomfortable with this whole game. <laughs> nah, nah. No, with all due respect, nah. there's a lot of horniness in the yeah. family, dude. Okay, that's a good point. Yeah. With all due respect. Okay, with all due respect. Yeah, so you try yeah. to say that that horniness was pointing in your direction. No, 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 no. I was just said as a whole they are. I would never single out any of them. Are you Wait, talking about their whole? Why, why, why do you mean... Why are you talking about the holes? Come on, fam. This guy is crazy. He 
did even with all due respect. <laughs> he did. Come he on, with all due respect. respect. I already said that. I might have to fucking waste you, fam. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta hit him with it with all due respect. Yeah, I did. I you did. gotta with do it respect. like when Muslims do, peace be upon him. You gotta hit him with it with all due respect. <laughs> yeah, with all due respect. Peace be upon you, bro. <laughs> And your family. With all due respect. I said it a hundred times, bro. I'm yeah, what piece he doesn't need? Yeah, what, what, yeah. what piece you, you already put a piece upon him, bro? <laughs> Son, Miles. Yeah. Miles, you a little crazy right now. So you pieced that up with all due respect? <laughs> with all due respect, you took drugs later that night. I did. Immediately, yeah. You took drugs awesome. later that night. First time in my life I did drugs. Say again? First time in my life I did drugs. That was the first time you've ever done Molly? I've never done any drugs. Wait, I've what? Never, I've what? never smoked weed. You've done alcohol. Yeah, I've done alcohol. But it's not a drug, though. That's like the gayest shit in the world. <laughs> One weekend. Let's do it again. <laughs> so Miles did drugs literally seven days ago. Yep. Miles did drugs. For the first seven time days ever. later, does Molly again. He's just run yep. it back. Yep. Back to back. Weekend. Are you concerned at all? You're, you're quite anxious. Ooh, back to back. You saw how he did <laughs> no, that? That's so awesome. He saw how he did that? He was in a six? No, not concerned at all. It was awesome. But, but I also didn't chase. I'm not a, like, not a chaser. What does that mean? Well, like, I mean, he was kind of chasing to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He didn't let him come. He was chasing someone that day. Like, once I came down last night, I was like, yeah, I don't want to do it anymore. I just want to go to bed. I didn't have the chase, but it's awesome. It's a great time. My jaw was going nuts last night. <laughs> First time I've had that problem. Was your jaw crazier here or in Toronto? <laughs> With all due respect. Was your jaw With all going due respect. crazy? With all due respect. With all due respect. With all due respect. Oh. Last night was way crazier. With the Damn, jaw. that's disrespectful. Yeah, no. Nah. That's no, I said with all due respect. No disrespect. <laughs> he did say with all due respect. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah. And who were you with last night? So, this shit is uh, with the boys. That's what like. Oh, <laughs> the swag. <laughs> the swag is insane. In a locker room? Yep. It's a fucking 80s yep. movie, dude. This guy's a <laughs> bad guy. So, and oh, Terrence be there. were right there. Uh, no, bro. like, that is bold. Bro, no. that's bold. All right, guys, you see the blue lights. You know what that means. That means it's time for me to remind you that our dick game's basura. Well, mine is for sure. Yours might not be, but it could always be better. And the best way to do that is Blue Chew. Optimize that dick game. Find a special lady in your life and give her the best night of her life. She deserves it. You deserve it. Ladies, get your man some if he needs it. And the best way to do that is go to bluechew.com. Use the promo code FLAGRANT. The first order is free. You just got to pay $5 for shipping. This is a no-brainer, guys. So, again, bluechew.com. Use the promo code FLAGRANT. $5 $5 for your first order. That's it. Step your dick games up, everybody. I know I have. It's still not good, but it's as good as it can be. Now let's get back to the show. All right, guys, we're going to take a break real quick because I got to tell you about this. It is the Extra Wallet, the world's largest smart wallet brand, and this is the only thing you need to stay safe financially And it's mad thin, fits anywhere, front pocket, no problem. First of all, it's got quick card access. You just press this little button right here, bang, every card comes out, that's it. No more searching around for the right card like that, bang, look at that, nothing. More importantly, this wallet offers RFID protection. I don't exactly know what that stands for, but I know people can skim, steal all your information super easily, and... It's the only wallet you won't lose. It is trackable worldwide. It's voice activated also. So if you lose your wallet, you can just call it with Google, uh, Google Home, Alexa, Siri, whatever you need. And because it's flagrant, we're going to give you a discount. So if you want to get up to 25% site-wide on any product extra sells, you can check out their wallets at shop.extra.com slash flagrant and again get up to 25% off site-wide with the code flagrant at shop.extra.com slash flagrant now let's get back to the show my so family has a do? very yeah, traditional he got his leg up though my family's got a very true. traditional mindset they're like bro 18 get married get out of here she's she's over the hill she's 23 oh so would your mom and dad not be protective about her having a partner not like getting married no not getting no not not been also <laughs> But with all due respect. Is that with respect or not? With all due respect, <laughs> yeah. would oh, they okay. be okay with a masha da pum pum With all due respect. Just with all due respect. I have to say with all due respect. No, they don't They don't want anyone to have sex before marriage. That makes sense. Yeah. That yeah. completely but makes sense. But after marriage. Then tons then of sex. Then what? With all due respect. <laughs> with all due respect. <laughs> with all due, because marriage is with yeah. all the due respect. It's as yeah. much respect yeah. as you yeah. have. Yeah, yeah. And it's totally due. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, listen, we had some fun while we were in Toronto. Outside of just that, there was, there was a little bit of celebration that involved Somali. Yeah. Did involve it. Yeah. Okay. Um, and before the Molly, mm-hmm. we were having some fun at the shows. 
And this is what I want to hear about. Yeah, Miles has a, f- a funny story. So we're doing the shows, obviously, at Scotia Bank, is where the Raptors play. And we were in the Raptors locker room. Usually you get the visitors' locker room. Ah. But we were in the Raptors locker room. And keep in mind that the season starts like this week. Right. So they all got their sneakers in there and shit. Mm-hmm. Like oh, shit. they had their stuff. So Miles, can you tell a story about God. you know, you know what I'm talking about? Which one? When, when, when the Raptors are trying to get into the locker room? Oh, oh yeah. bro. There's two giant dudes try, like trying to get into the locker room. Their locker room. It's their their names are on the wall. <laughs> and they have to come up to me and be like, another security guard comes up to me. He's like, hey, like, we just want to get the the Raptors back in their locker room. We're wondering if that's okay with you. And I was like, it's theirs, dude. It's theirs. <laughs> thing. And then the president of the Raptors wanted to get in. And they also had to ask our team if he could use like, How insane is this? That's amazing. Doors. How insane is this? That's so cool. <laughs> Dude, you run Toronto. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> Trust me, not at all. But uh, I just thought that's hysterical. Like, this is your place of work. Your name is on the fucking lockers. Yeah. And you want to go in and then someone stops you. And they're well, like, not someone, Miles. Miles. Yeah, Miles. <laughs> Miles is doing security. Well, you're like a sublease for the night, and they got to ask, That's yo, it. can I just go to my place real quick? My closet, I left something in there. They did Airbnb the place. Yeah. Mm. And they just need to grab something. It's kind of annoying. It'd be like if this studio became like a basketball court for like one weekend yeah. out of the year, and then we had to come and be like, oh, they're playing Sorry, basketball. Sorry, guys. Yeah, we should have yeah. grabbed a microphone. Or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, fuck. It is crazy. Yeah. Any, any wild stories for you guys from Toronto? I thought Dove fell in love. Uh. Bro, Dove is there with this beautiful woman. Beautiful Gordon. woman. At one point, she's sitting on his lap. Wait, which one? I saw multiple. Damn, love was in the air, huh? So love was in the air. At one point, she's sitting on his lap. He's like caressing her shoulder. Um, I'm like, I'm asking her, I'm like, is that girl Jewish? And then everybody's like, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she's uh, Jewish. She's Jewish. And I'm like, where the hell is she from? And then someone's like, I actually think she's even Moroccan. I'm like, this is like this is perfect, perfect, perfect wow. right? And... Um, well, it was his cousin. <laughs> <laughs> so it, we, we actually went a little too close, but it, they yeah. were they were caressing and loving, and there was just this beautiful uh, familial experience that we were witnessing. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's what Dove needs. Dude. That's also yeah. true. But that's what I told Dove. Love is close for him, bro. It's under his nose. It's right there. <laughs> it's right it's, there. Well, that didn't have to be close to be under his nose. It could be anywhere. Also, good point. The point that I'm trying to make here is that we were sitting at this bar watching oh. this. We we're sitting at this bar watching this. And and Mark goes, I say something to Mark, and he goes, I'm sorry, I'm a little distracted. I'm like, why? He goes, no, I'm just watching Dove about to fuck his cousin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's hard to talk about anything else. It's really Bro, difficult. We're at a pizza place later that night. We bring it up. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Mark, set this up. We bring it up. Yeah, and basically we're just like, oh yeah, Dub. Like, what's the situation with your cousin? She was sitting on your lap, and he was being respectful. He didn't put his hand on her waist. He no, was kinda, you have the picture. Do you have the picture <laughs> play. Yeah, put yeah. It up. <laughs> he just tucked his hand. So <laughs> she's sitting on the lap, but he realized it's a little too far to like caress the hip or anything. <laughs> so his hand is just broke wristed like that, hanging off the side of the chair. So he doesn't <laughs> do what his body is telling him to do. Which is wrap her up and secure and protect her and then no. procreate. I thought you guys were joking that Son. that was his cousin. No. I swear to God, I thought he was joking. This Yo, is why dumb, you white you people weird. only visit each other uh, twice a year, okay? You don't understand what. Uh, hey, hey, uh, uh, uh. Don't, I, I, I mean, promise. I, I promise. Don't Can I just say it. one thing? Can I just say one thing? This is all I'm trying to say here is for the longest, I've, as long as I've known Dove, I've said that. His family members have an uncanny resemblance. I can spot. <laughs> I can spot. You, I'm, not even, I'm not even touching. Hold on a second. I can spot a man from a mile away. And you can if smell him from two. Two. That's true. Easily. <laughs> I can spot wow. from a mile wow. away. Okay. And I've always joked to them. I was like, that's because there was probably a more concentrated gene pool, right? You're from the fucking Atlas Mountains and stuff like that. I joke. Around. This is jokes. We're all joking. When I saw that. <laughs> Yo, that. Dumb. Look at that hand. But that the hand is limp down. But what does it want? Nothing. I officiated her wedding. This is my cousin. She's a mom. She's wonderful. We're family. She's We're close. He was in the wrong beautiful. position. Yeah, at the he, wedding. he's like, <laughs> I can be as close as I can. <laughs> Does anyone object? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so but then we were just goofing and we were like, yeah, isn't that a little wild? Like, you wouldn't let your sister you so know, Mark sit goes, on your lap. You wouldn't let your sister sit on her lap. Thank and you. then Dove goes, goes, oh, hell no. And then Dove and Tanya, at the exact same time, go, oh, it's different than a cousin. <laughs> <laughs> and we 
went. And, you can't and do Mark this. And I just go, today. what the fuck? <laughs> Not today. I didn't what the know fuck? that was his cousin. Bro, bro, bro. bro. This we is- go, what do you mean it's different than your cousin? And he goes, ah, it's just different. Like, you can sit on your cousin's lap. Yeah, I, I got a female cousin I'm very close to. We're not sitting on each other's lap. What We're about sitting on the mouth? Would you put <laughs> <laughs> oh, that? Whoa, that's crazy. <laughs> with all due respect, say it. Yo, you with, all due respect, due respect. with all due respect. Yeah. Yeah. With all due respect. That was late. Sorry, yeah. That was late. <laughs> with, with all due respect, yeah. would you let her put that pound cake on you? No, I, no, <laughs> with no all chance. due respect. No chance. Dove would. I would not. Dove, would There's you rules. sleep with uh, your cousin? No. Is this snow, slow news day today? Anything else you guys want to talk about? <laughs> no, no, but all right. I, need, about, I need some I need Don't some Don't act like you're better than this. You tried to bang at a family reunion. Nah, but that's three cousins away. That's different. <laughs> that's that's, that's wow. different. I'm with that. That's different. Wait, 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 hold on. I forgot. <laughs> Al did try to have sex with one of his cousins. Yes. That yeah. was, it's mad. It's like barely. Guys, we're from. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> take us through it. Take us through it. <laughs> nah, it might like, have been three away, but if it was two. She was bad enough. She was you bad. You shoot it, right? Bad. You shoot it. She was now, bad enough now, to do it. Now, now, But that, nah. If it's one. Nah. If it's no one way. away. No way. First cousin. No way. She's Rihanna, but she's your cousin. With all due respect. With all With due all respect. With all due respect no is different. That's With all due respect, you wouldn't rearrange cold. your cousin's guts. Nah, it's too close. <laughs> we don't have a bunch of Riri's popping out. Like, we don't need that. We haven't won Rihanna already. I think cousins can get away with that. I don't think genetically it makes it that bad. Nah, I'm good. It's too close. Guys, Dove, anything that you gonna, we just saw this stunningly beautiful woman sitting on your lap. None of us knew it was your cousin. Yeah. I had a suspicion. You've met my cousin before. No, your cousin's beautiful. Stunning. Mm-hmm. I understand why. His whole family is <laughs> fucking stunning. Yeah, they're yeah. gorgeous. With all due respect, yeah. think about it. Imagine you're from this small little community in the Atlas Mountains, and everywhere else you go, people are uglier. Gross. Mm. The only the most beautiful people. Objective. Okay, yeah. argument. Argument. No, no, can, can we just make the whole no, argument? argument. argument. If we're, okay. we're living in Bedouin tents, and sit, don't you want to sit on a lap instead of on the ground? <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's the argument. I want to leave with that one. Yeah, I knew it. This is not be. genetics, dude. It's gonna be good. He's trying to make it tent. genetic. It was, it, was tent. Tent. Yeah. it was the tents. It was the tents that got him. Right? Yeah. yeah, it was the tents because your hard dick is way more comfortable. You were pitching a tent. You were pitching a tent, actually. No, but I think you bring up a good point, which is obviously laying on each other is going to be a little more comfortable but but you also have to understand your family is so unbelievably attractive it's insane yeah how stunningly beautiful every person in your family is why would you want to fuck people outside we your don't, family we don't that's why you don't want to we don't want to all go for the white jews how do you walk in and out we make the russians and the moroccans i told you this for years it's hetsy hetsy it doesn't work i don't think you heard you said you said oh i do it doesn't matter i was already spinning <laughs> Jesus. Oh, man. Wait, but then, Bro. so if it's nothing sexual, then why can't your sister sit on your lap? It's not a sister thing. It would be, but my sisters and I have always just, if like, just like, eh, we barely hug each other, but we hug each other now. We're, we're very close. How but close? It's just how we grew up. Lap to lap close. Like, what? Mark, close. you want to talk about you and your sisters? <laughs> oh, 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 yes. Mark, you want to talk oh, about yeah. you and your sisters? He wasn't in the room for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't me. I wasn't trying to yeah, want to kill my sister. Talk about it. I wasn't trying to bang oh, my family. With fam, all due fam. respect, though. This is with all due respect. Yeah. With all due respect, <laughs> I once in Miami, I walked in and everyone, they were in their underwear. And Mark was just around, hanging and not saying anything, just talking. Normally, wait, I went upstairs. Wait, 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 let's go! Oh, let's go! you bomb stop. this conversation. Stop. Let's go! <laughs> Israel <laughs> fighting back! Israel fighting back! We need to call him off. What are you talking about? Just, just, I don't right. understand. I walked in and I was just like barely covered up. <laughs> everyone was there. Just, Dumb you know, starts taking off his clothes too. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, was Mark naked? I didn't know if it was a Florida thing. Inviting his cousin over. Okay, what happened? <laughs> With all due respect, was With all due respect Mark, you get a little red. You get a little red, red, red right now. With all due respect. I've never seen anyone spin out of the spin like this ever. Yeah, that, was that, was that was good. That was good. We very literally very had cousins. We had cousin fucking locked on Doug. Uh, yes. Yeah. And somehow he switched it. He into kissed this. his cousin. <laughs> No, nah, he's trying to come back. Nah, it don't nah, work. Nah, it it's too desperate. No, but what is it? Nah, but Miles is here to start crying. Like, what was that? <laughs> 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 They're close. So I'm close to my cousins. You're close to your sisters. I get it. Okay, Fine. so wait, what? Wait, can you explain what was going on? Yeah, yeah, explain. Yeah. I truly don't know what you're talking about. Are you talking about us at the pool? Nah. 
What, what are you talking where about? Where was he? <laughs> come on. Look at him. He's, he's, I don't know if he's telling the truth or not, but it's fantastic. No, he's really Look at his face. He's like, come clean. I, I don't want to embarrass him too much. It was wild, though. You can share all the details. Yep. Uh, Let's go. Floor's oh, yours. Fuck. I mean, your sisters were in bra and underwear upstairs in your apartment. You weren't saying anything. Was I there? What, was Dude, you were there. The cat was there. <laughs> what was the cat wearing? The cat was looking away. No. Mike drop. Mike drop. Dub, you can't carpet behind Mark like that. Just leave. Get back here. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh, wow. Uh, that's funny. Nah, explain Can you yourself. explain what the hell's going on? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that what he's talking about. Oh, so you're just going to straight wow, cap right just, now? So yo. somebody just straight yeah. lied. My family yes. is into noodles. Who do you think's lying? The guy that fucks his cousin? Trying to get out of a spin <laughs> nah, cycle? Nah. As red as you were, son. I'm still, I I'm feel thinking, like... I'm because gonna, I thought he was going to say something crazy. I didn't know what he was talking about. Yeah, he, he's he, like, it's normal. It's not normal for everybody to walk crazy. around there and do it. The fact that you don't think he said yeah. anything crazy I thought it was makes me know you did that. You think that's normal. What is normal? But no one in my family walks around in their underwear. No, it's not a real story. <laughs> what is consent all over again? Mark, no. Yeah. Mark, oh. no. Yeah. Mark, we got to cut you out of this. I know, dude. Mark, with all due respect, tell us about the seance. What was happening? Just explain what was happening, Mark. Please. What was going on? What is happening? I, 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 this didn't happen. Oh, this is so good. This How do you get out of a lie? He left. He walked away. Way. Uh, it is <laughs> 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 oh, 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 hold on, hold on. Just explain what he might be describing. Is it possible you all came back from the pool? And I'm assuming all we all went to the pool and okay. then he's scandalized by women having rights. And then when he saw women in a bikini, he was you like, can't put oh that my God. He's gay, he's gay, he's gay, he's gay. He empowers women the most. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dove? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know if he Come on, them using most. them uh, Yeah, as comrades? Know. I don't know if that's empowering. <laughs> yeah. That's very empowering. I don't think fuck is <laughs> empowering. You know Yo! what I mean? I don't know if that's oh, God! Jesus what? Christ! What? The defense what the is hell? Hell? It's, it's not building a strong case. I mean, does he have a defense? No, I guess he Oh my not. God, Mark, <laughs> this is insanity! Whoa. <laughs> Jesus, Mark is a fucking Son. savage. I want no beef. Yo, <laughs> what? You guys be shooting, bro. <laughs> you guys crazy. The way you guys react makes it seem like it's true. I was just joking. <laughs> you guys are crazy. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why you guys reacted like Hold that. That's wild. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> so we just we just <laughs> all right, and we're back. Whoa, yeah. what do you mean we're back? <laughs> we're not back. I think we're, we've bleeped a few, but we're still in. Oh, we're still we're in. definitely still in. Okay, uh, so, 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 so. So you think Dub just saw you guys all waking up and it just so happened you were in the room together eating what? Cheerios or something like that, right? There's not like... Peace, yo, peace be upon. I mean, uh, with all due respect. With all, yeah, with all due respect. Yeah, with all due respect. <laughs> with all due respect. That's probably what he saw. Yeah, probably. I don't think the scandal is we run your siblings in a bathing suit. I don't, I don't know why this is the topic. I like how you try to switch into bathing suit. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. We know underwear bathing suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two different things, but that, I agree. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. so I've never seen Mark. I know, I know what it is. I'm trying, trying to think. shoot Dove in his fucking foot. I'm trying to think how to get out of a lie. You know what I mean? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, I got you. You're calculating. Yeah, yeah. So sometimes you beat it with a bigger lie, which is what you went for. Yeah. Or just, that was just so. Or you lean in, specific. You lean in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. It wasn't even salacious. Yeah, it's just like it was some weird shit. There's I nothing wrong to be to myself. But. Your sisters are staying with you. Of course, you're going to be in underwear at one point in time. No, yeah. they're staying with you. Mm -hmm. Not you're going to sleep in jeans. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I was in the room for that. If they were in underwear, Dove might have been. Dove was creeping around the apartment a lot. <laughs> Like when, whenever my family came around, he would kind of like be around and like be sort of like lurking. So maybe the girls were all in underwear together. Yeah, and then Dove might have been in the window, and like or maybe in the door. I don't know where he was. But and yeah. if you were there, would they all be dressed in that way? Yeah. Or mm -hmm. so that's totally cool. No, no, they would not have been in underwear necessarily. 
I mean, what is happening? <laughs> He's trying to help me. I'm saying nothing. Al saying nothing. He's lobbing you nothing. They would, uh, so you wouldn't be around them in bra and underwear. No, hey, yeah, I would. Hey, Mark, Miles, would you care to contribute? To yeah, Mark, get, you can pin it on me. This is good. Bring it back to me. Yeah, yeah. Why are you always when, trying to fuck when, yourself? Miles just finished having sex with Mark's whole family. Why are you trying That's to get fucking disrespectful? Miles trying to get my sloppy seconds, bro. Chill, dude. What the hell? What's wrong with this guy? Dude, all due respect, <laughs> with all the respect, dude. I got to be honest. Buddy, you're weird. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. I'm telling you. The South. Buddy, the South. I'm uncomfortable with you. Use, bro. <laughs> Different people, bro. Different people. Oh, my God. I've never seen Mark this uncomfortable. I know. This is. Whew, this is wild. It's all right. I've been uncomfortable like this. <laughs> it's it's my okay. My fucking sisters walk around their underwear. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was this uncomfortable. <laughs> it's not that bad. I can't believe Dove never brought this up until now. He was waiting. He yeah. had it just in the top. They're smart, these guys. Dude. They're smart. <laughs> That's why I'm like, yo, no beef. Because if he got shit like that, wait, he's got a file. Damn. On him. He's got yo, a file. go get Dove, please, Vala. I've, I've been texting him. So. But we're not going to talk about anything else like that. No, not <laughs> this <laughs> That was crazy. And he that ran was, away. Son, that was that crazy. That was the greatest moment in his I've life. I've never seen anything like that. Oh, man. He held on to that. He needs to make that For two <laughs> years. <laughs> and the he sincerity. never even told me that privately. He <laughs> never <laughs> was like, yo, you ever go upstairs in Mark's place? Yeah. The whole yo, family's in the underwear. a great friend. So, yeah. <laughs> 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 Did something happen in Israel? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> No. <laughs> okay. Yo, what's up? So, no, no, no. Mark, <laughs> Mark, we're not talking about what you saw in Mark's place. Yeah, no. We're not talking about that. Sports. What are we talking about? What sport was it? Wait, what sport? <laughs> <laughs> what sport? What yeah, sport? What sport was With it? all due respect, what sport? Yeah. <laughs> no, there were no sports. Nothing no. happened, guys. <laughs> Comedy. Let's just talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's the topic oh, today, guys? So what, I, what do you want? Why'd you call me back in? But no, because we just wanted you to be able to, you know, steer us in a different direction. Yeah, you, you threw guys, out a grenade, a crazy grenade. Yeah. Right? And, and ran Grenades. away. And then you ran away. <laughs> so we need to just make sure that we, you know, right the ship. Yeah. Right the ship. Okay. So you acknowledge that you did not see his family in underwear. Don't together. say that word, bro. What the hell? <laughs> not I, I was hearing crazy things in the other room though. What do you mean? I don't know. What do I mean? Oh, god damn. You got more? <laughs> Wait, god what, what? Damn. How long were you sitting on this experience yeah. with Mark's family without telling us? I'm yeah. a I'm a private guy. You never guy. told me that once. I'm a private guy. I keep business here. But like, why did you share it on a podcast? Right now. <laughs> Seems very not private. <laughs> How do you wait two years? Like you could have just been like, yo, did you ever go up there? I wasn't a cousin fucker two years ago, I guess. <laughs> So you that are now, though. Time. That's kind of wild. Love Hold fucking on. cousins. <laughs> He's leading in. Yo, this go, is, that is, is how you handle it. That is killing it right that now. That is killing it right now. You should have said slumber party. If, yeah. if that's what you had said, I think you're off scot-free. Yeah. But the cousin fucking thing is fire, dude. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, you know mm-hmm. with, with all due respect. All due respect. With respect. all due respect. I don't really think that you would have sex with one of your cousins. No. You know that well, I don't even want to date. A Moroccan. I want to. I want to spread my Moroccan. <laughs> uh, because around. they're Jewish, not because they're. Uh, Ashkenazi. Ashkenazi. <laughs> no, no, no. I want to. I want to make. You nice, want a white Jew? I want a half ski baby. Ah. Uh, Is it Jewish and Jewish? <laughs> <Still>. <laughs> All right. Fair. Okay. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? Dude, that laugh is so sinister. <laughs> it really it is. Throw, it's like we were about to move away, but the fact that he's laughing is nah. like, well, we got to dig into this a little bit. It. And when it. he's laughing at you, it's the worst. Oh, it's the worst. Uh, it's, 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 it really pierces. Demoralizing. So that was just a really fun 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> like it really was. Oh, oh, this is great. This is a great guy. <sighs> <laughs> All right, so... <laughs> There's a Taylor Swift jet conspiracy. <laughs> Come back, though. <laughs> oh, so I ain't going to lie. This bitch, the, the Taylor Swift jet conspiracy is absolutely fantastic. This girl on TikTok, I saw her do it. Did you hear about no. this? I didn't hear about it either. This is fire. So you know she was at the jet game, right? Yeah. And you know the big knock on Taylor Swift is she fronts like she's this environmentalist, but she got this private jet that flies around more than anything else, so she's polluting the environment more than anything. So if you type in Taylor Swift jet... It talks about how her her private jet is polluting the earth and how she's a fake environmentalist. Mm. Now, if you Google Taylor Swift ah. jet, she was at the Jets game. 
Mm. Oh, wow. Now, she can't just go to the Jets game because then people are going to know what's up. So she'll go to the game before and then the Jets game. Mm. If she never goes to another one, I think we know how she used Travis Kelsey. Wow. Yo, that's, I like Low it. key? Maniacal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The GOAT. Yeah. The GOAT. I give it to her. That's the Disney thing with Frozen. Yeah. You ever heard that? No. Apparently, like, if you search Disney Frozen. It's, oh, he froze it's his fucking. Disney being cryogenically uh... frozen. And then people are like, they made this movie and they called it Frozen. Yep. Because that way, if you Google Disney Frozen, it shows up with the movie. And was he actually cryogenically frozen? No one knows. I don't know if that's confirmed. Because you would have to do that while you're still alive. Yeah. Ted like, Williams, in order to be. Yeah, like right when you die. But Ted Williams wasn't. Ted Williams was still alive when he was frozen. Um, I just know he was frozen. I don't know if he was still alive or not. And um, there's I, a big battle between two his, seconds ago. You said you did know he, he was said, frozen. He did that he while he was alive. <laughs> no, he didn't no, even didn't say, say the words while he but was But he alive. wanted no, to be frozen after he died. There's no point in that. Now you're just an asshole. Not <laughs> you, know. Ted Williams. But what if they could bring you back after you die still? Like with your tissue or something? Hmm. Well, yeah, I guess that makes sense. I guess I, I would assume it's like um you ever do that thing with a with a bumblebee? You can freeze it, tie it up. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. You can freeze it and then unfreeze them and they'll stay alive. Oh, whoa. So they just go into like some sort of like catatonic paralysis because of the cold and then they come back. And uh, we, you put a little leash on it hmm. and fly it around. This is a CKY2K guys would do it. And uh, so I'm wondering if there's something like that with the human body. You freeze it and it comes back years later. That's the, uh, who is it? What movie was that? The uh, Star Wars, not Obi-Wan. Um, oh, Harrison Ford. What's his name? Got stuck in uh, Han Solo. Right? Han Solo. Oh, Didn't he get yeah. frozen? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, I think so. And they brought him back, and then you know, Demolition Man, that fucking movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, that's what I assume Ted Williams is doing. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Yo, what's up with Disney losing the rights to the mouse? I know. Is it the mouse? Like the Mickey Mouse trademark and shit. Yes. Yeah. Like apparently Disney's been fighting trademark laws. Yeah. In court for decades yeah. because they expire at, they're supposed to expire after x amount of years uh, but because their whole intellectual property is owning the right to these characters yeah they've been in court with them forever to continue to increase the amount of time that they can have the rights because right. yeah. the second you lose the right to all these characters anybody can make a, a mickey mouse movie or a spider-man movie or whatever yeah. the fuck so what's up with that so it has to be the old version of mickey mouse like the new the more new versions of mickey mouse are still protected but that original like steamboat willie mickey mouse yeah. goes out of protections in 2024 but even then it's like yeah. anybody can use your main thing yeah and yeah. the steamboat willie that's an iconic mickey mouse like if yeah. you bought nobody would think it's boot like if you bought it four years from now from yeah. some kind of street. i think poo just went one of the poo just went out of trademark so anybody could, it's almost like you got to sabotage the character before you, before you, it goes, like you got to put out a movie. What's up, dog? <laughs> Another character walking around in underwear. <laughs> <laughs> no. Is it weird to see your sister in underwear, bro? How is that weird? How is that weird, dude? He doesn't walk What's around weird about that? Damn, how? <laughs> yeah. 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 That was fun. Yeah. How's that weird? Boss threw it up. <laughs> that was fun. That was you, dog. <laughs> I saw him laughing. I was like, what's that? I thought he was just laughing at Miles knowing useless shit. <laughs> and, wow. Also, Winnie the Pooh's got no pants wow, on. that was great. Whatever, dude. you had a Winnie the Pooh Worse. party. It's all good. <laughs> How's that weird? You never seen your brother in his underwear? No, but my family's naked. You see your dad's dick all I the time. Have a I have a naked family. Yes. <laughs> see, I am a naked he family. He owns it? Yeah. Naked. <laughs> he was like skirting it. You made that shit out. weird as fuck. <laughs> my mom's titties yeah. out. But now my I got to lead it to a lie, shirts. bro. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> None of y'all moms wore a baggy shirt, titties flop out from the side. That's my point. That's my point. I don't want to lean into this. Y'all never, go go never seen your mom in a tank top, titties on the side, flopping out. No, That's my point. Y'all never right? seen that. Y'all never seen your mom's titties <laughs> looking like a dachshund's ears. <laughs> Y'all never seen that once. Uh, I'm just saying, that happens. In my family, that happens. Dad yeah. dick swinging. Like Winnie the Pooh. God. My dad walks around like mm -hmm. Winnie the Pooh. Do you want to lean into this? My dad wasn't it out. <laughs> <laughs> His dick was swinging elsewhere. I know. I missed, I missed the dick swings, bro. God I'm damn. just saying, we're very naked family. Naked family. But you have a naked family or no? I mean, my mom would do the big shirt, but she didn't have holes on the side. So. But yeah. she would do the big shirt when them titties was going crazy. With <laughs> That's all due a t-shirt. With all due respect. It's a t-shirt. 
But with all due respect, they would go crazy or no? <laughs> Yo, with all due respect. <laughs> it's with all due respect. Yeah. Lean in. They would go yeah. crazy. Lean in. Yeah. You got to lean in Come now. Come on, Akash, Akash, you got to lean in. Akash's mom's going crazy. <laughs> he's leaning in. Like you got to lean in. You going to say your mom don't got crazy titties Come out? Come on. That's disrespectful. She, she all angry. Where the fuck were you last night? Like this titty going fucking berserk? <laughs> you never seen titties go nah, berserk? She has a good set, but she's <laughs> That's why I can't talk about that. that. What you mean, you good set? Set? A good set? What you mean, good set? Yo, I come from a good set. Bro. <laughs> I didn't have to say that. <laughs> He's sorry. I'm sorry, oh. bro. They sit high and tight. <laughs> what? This that's guy's how you insane, lead in, bro. That's how you lead Nah, that's too that's, crazy, nah, bro. Nah, you that lean in, bro. You lean in. I, I, bad, I didn't say my mom is... in a good set. I just said she has some huge bazooks. <laughs> yeah. That's not a good but set. You say hers is swinging like mom. My mom's do swing. Yeah, that's fucked up. My mom's tits look like they crumping. Bro, <laughs> 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 just like this, like... <laughs> She's like two Chris Browns uh, on her chest. The, the act of the act of <laughs> see Stompy Art. For real. They go nuts. <laughs> it look like Stabender coming out to a fight. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, we gotta talk about moms. That's so funny. Shout out to moms yeah. bailing us out today. <laughs> sure did. <laughs> what? What did you say? Mom? I didn't say anything, bro. What? No, what? Mom. Was Miles taking shots, bro? No, he shot at all. <laughs> what, I, what did you say? I, you. I said this is a very funny conversation. We're having yeah, a lot of fun. Said, <laughs> I think he said Miles bailed us out. Yeah, I don't know. He said Miles bailed us out. Oh, I thought you said Miles bailed us out. What's your mom's tits <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Yo, yeah. <laughs> he didn't even have to. You got to lean in, bro. He didn't even have to. You got to lean in. What they look like, yo? Be honest. With all due respect, what's your mom's chest look like? <laughs> you got to lean in. Yo, yo, with all due respect. You got to lean in, bro. Yo, with all due respect. Al's got a sister yo, we Yo, with all due respect. <laughs> come on, now. Al's sister we With all due respect. <laughs> can she lean him on the so bar? You after my sister now? <laughs> yeah, Unstoppable. This guy is just nah, crazy. crazy. You need to back off. But with all due respect. Come on, yo. What bro? not after your sister. <laughs> At least he's not after his sister. That's fair. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. But with all due respect, bra, yeah, go. With, with all due respect, what size are we talk? <laughs> Mom's got some big tits on this podcast. <laughs> you gotta this lean. Pod, you gotta I, knew I knew it. I knew it because because you know why? You know why I knew it. He's a milkman. Exactly. Miles <laughs> loves big tits, and that comes from that's yeah. genetic, yeah, bro. That nourishment. Is, exactly. Yeah, it's yeah. nourishment. It's also what you see, what yeah. you're around. Mm -hmm. mm. You're around those giant Galapagos titties yep, yep. for your entire life. So, of course, naturally, you're going to be drawn to some fucking Easter egg island heads <laughs> when it comes to the titties, Miles. You're not wrong, dude. You're honestly not wrong. That is true. It yeah. does come from the mother. It's like it's like Jewish blood, bro. What is that? Oh, yes. Pass yeah. to the mother. That's true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, he was trying to start yeah, something. Yeah, I know. He's yeah, trying. Yeah, I thought he was getting, getting crazy. Yo, you know what's wild? Miles brought a little... To the show that we went to. Why are you talking about Mark's sister like that? <laughs> yeah, bro, it's it's not. I thought it was at first. <laughs> oh, wow, you got that ass, that ass you on my life. I thought it was at first. <laughs> it's it's. Oh, yes. let's go. What the fuck I'm talking uh, about. We're at MSG for Black, Black Coffee. Let's go. Phenomenal show. Shout out Black Coffee and his oh, team. Yo, Incredible. That's why he dipped for Mad Long. Oh yeah. I'm like yo, did we lose this? Guy? He brought the girl that's been talking about him every time I would go. She brings, oh, your friend Miles. Oh, oh your friend Miles. Oh, that girl that you yes. yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Brought yeah. her there. She was so excited. Oh. She was so excited. And? It was a good time. I had a good time. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Uh, Miles? I Black think was coffee was awesome. I actually had a good time. <laughs> but did you guys hook up? So this is good. No. What? Did no, you make I out? out? I was out with Al afterwards. I was out with, like, no. Did you make out with her? No, no. Did you stuff her face full of dick? No. <laughs> did, you, did you give her any of that one leg riz in the corner? Yeah. Did you give her that one leg? Room? <laughs> no. Wait, did you really not hook up with that girl? No. Did you not come with her? Whoa. No, she she met us there. Oh. Yeah. yeah. And then you guys just left? No, I never left. She left, and then I went out with the boys. Mm -hmm. Wait, she was there by herself? Uh, No, she was like... She wanted to get drinks, and then Dove was like, oh, I have extra ticket. Just bring this girl. And I was like, all right, so fine. she was by herself? Yeah, she showed up. Oh, you're bad. You should have stayed with her the whole time, bro. Yeah. I did until <laughs> she That's left. why he didn't smell. <laughs> so what's going on? There's something peculiar going on right There's here. There's nothing peculiar. He wanted to have fun with the boys, but he didn't play that right. Mm, Maybe yeah. his heart was in a different yeah. place. I was also 
on Molly, yeah, your truly. sister. <laughs> I was on Molly. He felt like, I can't cheat the on Molly's sister. That's <laughs> what <laughs> so I'm saying, dude. I respect that. Yeah, I legitimately was like, man, I want to go downstairs and have fun with the boys. Yeah. Like way more. I was on Molly. I was really wanting to dance all night. <laughs> I was all hyped up, bro. It was awesome. <laughs> you ever just want to do Molly with the boys, dude? <laughs> <laughs> you ever just have a beautiful girl to you and you're just like, ugh, this is disgusting. I don't, Where are the dudes at? Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of crazy, Bob. You didn't play that right. Yeah, probably not, but it was an awesome time. <laughs> I had a great time. Where'd you guys go after the, uh, the event? Shit. We went to Lucy's and then we went to House of Yes. Oh, you ended up going to House of Yes, too. How was that party? Fun time. Did you guys keep on rolling? Yes, we did. That's why you didn't make it a paddle. I knew you weren't coming to paddle. Sorry, I guess. So I called like him at 4 p.m., got no answer, no callback, no nothing. Bro, I was out. I called this motherfucker <laughs> at 4 p.m. Late NFL games are starting. I'm like, I gotta be up by now. Wait, when did you wake up? No, nah, I was up by then, but I just, I wasn't. I was like comatose. I was just in bed. <laughs> chilling. You guys gotta be careful, dude. Fucking, fucking getting that shit in your brain all the time, dude. I feel like it'll make, right? Doesn't it make you sad after a while? Yeah, you, you do it too. Yeah, he's still spinning. No, he's still spinning. I know. I realize it was too sad. You still spinning. Y'all have fun. Everyone have fun. Everyone have fun. we need to love on Mark. No, 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 no. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. We love you, Mark. We love you. It's a family reunion. Come on, Mars. If this is my real family, this would be way better, dude. You see an orgy. Yeah, that was naked right now. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. But are you not worried about that, doing it too frequently? I know yeah. what's going on in your brain right now. There's a problem you don't know how to solve. What? That situation. Yeah. I know, I should have leaned in. Yeah, yeah, but in, in your brain right now, you're like, how the fuck couldn't I solve that in that moment? <laughs> and you just can't let go. I know that feeling. You're like, fuck, how would I have solved that? It's like when you get off stage and like somebody said something, you didn't have the, the reaction to it. You're like, how could I have controlled that? Mm. Yeah, I hear that. But now you know, you got to lean in. No. We're prisoners to needing to win every interaction. Every If we lose, it fucking, eats away at us so fucking yes. hard. Oh, man, that must suck. It's, yeah, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's not the best. I lose them all the time. All right, guys, we're going to take a break real quick because we got to be honest. If you get wrongfully injured, it sucks. You get crazy medical bills. You got to do doctor's visits. And you got to deal with insurance companies. All of it is hard. But if, God forbid, you ever do get wrongfully injured, the one thing you can do that is easy, that would take a huge burden off of you, is you could check out Morgan & Morgan. That is America's largest injury law firm. It's not some mom and pop shop. They have over 100 offices, and they have recovered over $15 billion for 300,000-plus clients, guys. They are tried and true proven. Morgan & Morgan has a track record of fighting to get you full and fair compensation. And this is the most important part. The fee is free unless you win. So with all the tough things you got to do if you get injured, submitting an injury claim at Morgan & Morgan should not be one of them. If you are ever injured, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. For more information, go to forthepeople.com slash flagrant or dial pound L-A-W. That's pound 529 from your cell phone. Again, that is F-O-R, thepeople.com slash flagrant or call pound 529 on your cell. This is a paid advertisement, by the way. If you guys didn't realize that, you're pretty fucking stupid. But I have to say that legally. All right, guys, we're going to take a break real quick. You see how that wasn't bad for me? You see how that wasn't bad for me at all? This is an innovative, award-nominated device that instead of uh, using electronics to puff on, it's completely natural. Instead of using vapor, it's another product I can't mention. This uses flavored air. And instead of harmful chemicals that are often stuffed in those other products, this is all natural, delicious flavors. You see what I'm saying? Instead of being bad for you, fume is good for you. It is a habit you are free to enjoy. It's a beautiful thing. Makes you replacing your bad habit easy. There's a little adjustable airflow dial. Really, this just helps fidgeting. Keep shit. I mean, maybe it helps too beyond that scientifically. I don't know. But it's a beautiful thing. It's weighted. It's got a nice feel to it. And it has served over 100,000 customers with thousands of success stories. So you know it's not some bullshit that I'm selling you. And there's no reason you can't be one of those hundreds of thousands of people. So join Fume in accelerating humanity's breakup from destructive habits by picking up their journey pack today. All you got to do is head to try Fume and use the code flagrant and you'll get 10% off when you pick up the journey pack today. Again, that is T-R-Y. F-U-M dot com and use the code flagrant at checkout to get an additional 10% off your order. Now let's get back to the show. All right, guys, we're back. Akash, what happened to them Cowboys, yo? This was, I don't know, man. <laughs> this is so bad. I did a stream. I was like, yo, I'm going to stream every Cowboy game. I think we're going to have a great year. I had Joey Avery over from San Fran and the Cowboys just got rinsed 
like I've never seen in my life as a sports fan. I've never seen two teams that are supposed to be good and one get destroyed this badly. I mean, Jets aren't supposed to be good. I mean, the, uh, the, the 49ers aren't supposed to be good. Well, they are. They're good. The yeah. Cowboys are supposed to be good. But nobody thought Brock Purdy is going to fucking take them to the promised yeah, land, right? Yeah, the thing with their The coach, defense is good. Yeah, the and defense and the good. run scheme this guy draws up is always so good. The kind of the thinking with him is he's not great, but he's good enough with that coach, Kyle Shanahan. That, like, he doesn't have to be great. Yeah. He just needs to be good enough. Yeah. Everything else. Will... A game manager. Yeah. Is that what and then call? hit a couple of shots. And he had some fucking dimes last night. Yeah. I don't know if it was terrible coverage or what, but this guy, I mean, it was so embarrassing for three and a half hours to sit there. You don't think about a live stream for an entire game if you're getting destroyed. So I have to sit there sinking lower and lower into my couch. Vala came through and we made a deal that. For every touchdown the Niners scored toward the end, I would take a half an edible. So I just got zooted by the end of the pod, by the end of the stream. It was just a miserable fucking time. Depressed and high, sunken into a couch, and it's 42 to 14 or whatever it is. God. 42 to 10. It was unbelievable. So is Cowboy Nation uh, demoralized in terms of their hopes for I'm this season? Okay. I was wrong. Because y'all were Everyone, gassed up. I was yeah. wrong. You were. I was wrong. Every season they get like this. <laughs> after, I don't normally. I was this season one? all in. I was with everyone. I, you never heard me say Cowboys are going to the Super Bowl for real. This time I picked it. <laughs> what? For he said real? for real. He said for real. Like week one. Yes, no, you, this year. That's what I'm saying. This yeah. year I was completely wrong. This, oh, okay. But Cowboys fans do that every year. Yeah. Me, this year I was like, nah, they were right, dude. We got it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, shout out to prize picks. I've been making y'all a lot of money with every pick being wrong. Yo, my picks killed this week. You just pick opposite of me. It's really no, pretty smart. No, my picks killed this week. I ain't going to lie. Shout out to prize picks, though, by the way. Also, if you're going to pick them up this week, who are we picking this week? Who you got this week? Son. <laughs> Yo. Prizepicks.com. Let me use the promo code Schultz. They're going to match your initial deposit uh, up to $100. You put $100 in, they're going to match it at $100. I think I made people, let's say this week, I think we got $2,500 and then plus another $1,500. So that would have been four grand. Four grand. You're welcome. Yo. You're welcome if you're throwing down like we were throwing down. All right. On my picks, remember, don't pick what I'm picking. Devin A. Chan, more than 66.5 rushing yards. I believe that for the Dolphins. Okay. And Tyreek Hill, more than half a touchdown also for the Dolphins. Of course. I'm riding with the Dolphins, which makes logical sense. But again, don't listen to me at Price Picks. Go to Price Picks. Say, what did Akash do? Do the opposite. That's your, that's your fucking model for 2023, and you're going to make a lot of money. PrizePicks.com. Promo code Schultz. Okay. Um, anything else in Deportes? We got basketball starting back up. Obviously, big trade. Yeah, we didn't talk about the trade at all. Yeah, the Dame trade is really interesting. Um, yeah, I don't know. How do you I'm feel like, as a Knicks fan? I think this is just kind of a, a nothing burger season for the Knicks. Mm. We didn't make any big changes. We didn't get any, you know, talent. There's nothing new that we have, and what we had wasn't good enough. So yeah, but the people, the, I guess the fans were saying, whenever salary cap space opens up, Giannis, then we'll maybe get after they, it. Giannis is who you want. They're like Giannis. Yeah, but Giannis, can we Giannis. get Giannis if Dame just came to the? That's the thing. That's why it kind of fucks y'all. Yeah, because that was the big. And now I guess the Joel Embiid is the backup. But people were thinking Giannis is not happy in Milwaukee. They're mm. not going to do anything. But now the, the the question now is that does Milwaukee have enough talent to? Uh, to actually do it. They have enough talent in terms of Giannis and Dame, obviously, but do they have defensive talent? Drew would lock down anything. Yeah, that's the thing. Giving up Drew hurts, dude. And Dame's not, I love Dame, but he's not a good defender. Yeah. Also, you know, Dame, loyalty Dame requested the trade from the Blazers and then got divorced after he got traded within like a week. Oh, he's about to win a championship. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, fuck all this loyalty shit. <laughs> I need a ring. Yo, Dude, that, he I'm made some room. Ring, he man. made some room. <laughs> to take another, yeah. Yeah, shout out to Dame, man. Yeah, Dame is, uh, Dame is fucking incredible. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens with Milwaukee. I'm shocked that they didn't get that Miami deal done. Dame in Miami with Jimmy oh, Butler. Just, crazy. Because yeah. Jimmy's got maybe another year or two at elite play probably. Yeah. And so there's a two-year window for him to get it done. Yeah. So if I'm Dame, you get to meet one in Miami. You're single. You want to be in fucking Milwaukee? Or That's you want probably to be down why he wanted the Miami trade. I think he was thinking, you know what? I'm getting divorced if I'm going to Miami. Let's just get ahead of it. <laughs> I heard Pat Riley made them one offer. They pitched Pat something else, and then he never returned the phone call. Oh, wow. Really? Pat don't play games. Wow. Pat don't play games. I mean, I guess, dude, but you got a window. You, they just weren't as good as the Nuggets in the finals. Yeah. They just weren't flat out. Al said that too. You think you called in five? You're exactly I think, right. I think they wanted uh, they wanted first round. Oh, sorry, they wanted draft picks. Yeah. And Miami's like, okay, if we have a couple more years left on Jimmy's contract, we can't give up our future for two more years. Mm. 
So they have to continue developing. And what Miami's done really well is just cultivated this team that makes the playoffs, makes it very far, make it to the finals. Heat culture. Heat culture. And they invest in their future, potentially. Now they'd be giving up the whole thing for adding a player who may or may not be able to put them over. Yeah. I don't know if he does. Yeah. You know? But we haven't seen just yet. Do you think Jimmy only has two more years? No, I think Jimmy can play until he's 40 if he wants, but dominate a game, elite NBA by player himself. by uh, himself. Yeah. I think that that start, you need some help after that. Like when we watch Jimmy do, and most people would not put Jimmy in as a top five NBA player, mm. but what we watched him do is in the playoffs, be a top five NBA player. Yeah. How many more years can he do that? Where he just literally rolls his ankle and then comes back and drops 40 or whatever the fuck insane. he was doing. Like mm. guy dominates. I don't know. Two, three. The Knicks probably would have gone. Ugh, imagine we had Jimmy Butler. Yeah. Oh, the Knicks, Knicks would love this fucking yeah. guy. And I, I just love how individual he is. Like He's part of this team where he sacrifices whatever he needs for the greater good of the team. But in his personal life, nobody's telling him what he can or can't do because no. of who he is. Like coming in dressed as the goth dude, yeah. having the fucking extension uh, uh, the dreads last yes. time. Like he's, he's just having fun. So genuinely we funny. We would have loved that here. Oh, we he's loved, a superstar. Yeah. He'd be an absolute superstar. Yeah. What so, happened with John Morant? Is there oh, any? Is there that's any right. He got, he got like that, what is it, 20 games? 25, I think, right? 25 game suspension. So he's going to have to serve that suspension, come back from that, and he'll definitely be a knucklehead again and then get suspended again. Almost 100%. I guaranteed. hope Derrick Rose can help him. I hope Derrick Rose can help There's him. There's no help. I mean, you haven't heard anything from him. Like, it seems like he's focused, or at least out of the spot. That's a good point. That's a good point. I just can't believe he would even let it get to where it is. Like, yeah, it was just so many mistakes. And I love Job, but it was just a constant fucking up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But he's so up? talented, dude. Like, and likable on the, like, on the court. You love this guy. Yeah, I mean, the, the league is his if he could get his... Yeah. Yeah, if he could get his shit together, they'd literally hand him the league. Yeah. But now they have to be concerned about handing him the league. Yeah. Now they got to ride Steph a little bit more. It looked like the NBA was ready. <sighs> it looked like they were ready, and then obviously this shit happens, and they're like, okay, Steph, here you go. Put the league back on your fucking shoulders. Yeah, if he can do. stay in line, he'll be a billionaire. Like just the way athlete contracts are going, the what the fortunes they're amassing, the opportunities that present themselves oh, to the them. sneakers. Like he's the first guy I've seen in a while that has a style of play that makes you want to buy a sneaker. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like Kyrie, regardless of his political beliefs, has a style of play where you go, I mean, all right, just let me get the sneakers. Maybe that will help. I remember buying Steph sneakers. Like, does this help you balance better? <laughs> I mean, you like I, I, I knew it was irrational and dumb. But it still got me to buy it. I think that's a lot of times we've spoken about this on the pod, but like you don't buy big man sneakers because you don't want to play like them. Yeah. We want to play like Michael Jordan. Yeah. You want to play like Kyrie. Yeah. I remember looking at the Kyries and they said that like they the soles were made to replicate a, a motorcycle tire. So there was no hard edge on them. It's a rounded edge. So you could get the traction when you're pushing on the side. And I'm watching this and I'm like, <laughs> That's why. <laughs> that's why. That's, that's that shit why. works. Though. That shit works. <laughs> gas I bought David so Beckham cleats because it had the it had the metal in the bottom, so that when you kicked it, it would push the metal and then it would make the ball spin more. Didn't work. Didn't work at <laughs> Didn't all. Work. But you buy them because 100%. you see someone do something so unique. You're like, I did it when I was twelve. Though. I did it when I was twelve. Damn, I did that shit at thirty five. <laughs> <laughs> oh, You're the best God, salesman. Or the easiest sold. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? bro. Yeah. That's what I've noticed yeah. in my life. But you need that game, and Ja has that game. Which is like, I, it, yeah. it, it, it's he's bigger than Iverson was, but the aggressiveness yeah. and like straightforward and attack. Dunk. I, Iverson wasn't yeah. thrown down like that. No, Iverson no, no. could dunk, obviously, but not like Yeah, John. yeah. So yeah, let's see. Let's see what happens. You brought up Beckham. You said you really like yeah. the documentary. Oh, Dunk yeah. I've been hearing about this. Doc. Documentary's Doc. good. It's the first Travis, uh, Kelsey, and Taylor Swift. The OG. Yeah, that's a good-ass yeah. point. That, fire. That is a good-ass point. Did you see it? I, my wife's been watching it, so I've been like picking up little parts. Yeah. And... Uh, and like she'll pass out and I'll just keep watching. That's how I know if something's good. Yeah. And uh, like really fun. He's great. He's great. And obviously it's a documentary, so it's accentuating like the best parts of him. I thought it was, I don't know soccer. So you tell me, it felt like OD. Like, like Jordan documentary, he's undeniably top two at the very least best basketball player of all time mm -hmm. in the entire history of the universe. I don't ever hear people put Beckham oh. top five, mm -hmm. top 10. And the way they're talking about him, it's like, this is the greatest player to ever set foot on grass. To me, I thought he was because that was the only player I heard of 
as a young kid yeah. in soccer. Yeah. So he, he was the icon. He, 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 must be he was the though. icon. But as time, like my friends who knew soccer were like, yeah, he's good. Yeah. That's it. I, my takeaway, and maybe because I already knew that he was, he was a really good player, but not like the number one guy in the world at the time. My takeaway was more like personality wise. Like I, I saw him as like a quite well-rounded individual, like not too pompous or arrogant, like, like kind of hardworking player. And until was the guy, Sir Alex Ferguson, Sir Alex Ferguson. Ferguson, like until they, you know, he separated and went and played in Real Madrid or whatever, like kind of like kind of humble, almost respectful of this guy who was his coach since he was a teenager, mm-hmm. which I didn't expect from him. You know, like I don't, I didn't, I, yeah, he comes off almost like a kind of working class bloke. Yeah. Which I knew him as like a fashion icon. Yeah. yeah. See, that, so it was I like felt, really refreshing to see. Like I felt the, he was closer to that than he was portraying himself. And it was just like, gotcha. I feel, I mean, like the guy was modeling and then he acts like, dude, I just wanted to be, play football. And like, yeah. I don't know what's happening around me. Yeah. I missed the birth of my daughter to go to a photo shoot with JLo and Beyonce. But like, I just, <laughs> I'm just a working class bloke who yeah. loves Guinness. And, and that's like, the well. genius of documentary. Like yeah. you can curate whoever you want, but. I saw this one clip going around. That's the where, best. Um, I know. She was capping. <laughs> she was oh, like, oh yeah, I grew up on middle class. Dude, this <laughs> is the genius though, is he does that to his wife and then nobody does that to him. Yeah. But you watch that moment and you're like, yo, they did, they were authentic in the documentary. Yeah. She'd be capping more than him though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, sure. He, 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 don't, he don't really brag a lot, you know what I mean? He, like, reacts to the game, and then they do a really cool <laughs> visual effect where he's watching the game through yeah, the lens. Oh, yeah. So they could, you get, like, his... So visually, imagine there's a camera behind the screen that uh-huh. he's watching the game. Okay. So you get his, like, in-the-moment reactions to his plays. Oh, so he's cool. watching like yeah, yeah. yeah. But he's right. looking into your look eyes. Like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's really cool. But uh, uh, He did cap on the affair thing, though. Like, they kind of touch on it a little bit, and he was like... That was like a really tough time for us, man. People were trying to tear us apart. And it's like, <laughs> uh, tough time for us. Like you, you're throwing us out. Victoria and I had to fight for each other. She was yelling at you for two years straight. <laughs> like, what? This is a very funny. But did he fuck the girl? Like, what was the deal? The idea, I'm fairly certain. He had, it was enough that he had to address it. And if he didn't fuck her, he'd probably take that documentary to be like, I didn't touch this girl. Mm. What are you guys talking about? Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He didn't ever say he didn't do it. Yeah. He was just like, we had to really fight to save our marriage. It was important for us to be there for each other. And it's like, well, this is a funny way of putting it. Yeah. That's why I felt like he capped when he needed to cap. She capped on like, I'm working class. And he capped on like. I'm faithful. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm <laughs> no, a great I husband and a working how, class guy. How, sounds good. How good was he? Yeah, that's what I I mean, know. he was like the star of England, arguably. Okay. Like he was like their guy, set piece dude, like winning, like. You see it in the documentary, like when he gets the red card and they lose on PKs to Brazil or whatever, or Argentina. Argentina, yeah. Uh, like they blame him yeah. because he was like a linchpin. He was the captain of England. So when you're the captain of a country that is like the epicenter of like European soccer, you're raised to a higher level. Of course. It's like, it's like being the best player on the Knicks. You don't right. have to be the best player in the, or the best player on the Cowboys, the quarterback. Ex- yeah, you don't have to be the best for your health. And then he's also married and has a kid with the biggest Most pop star in England. Pop star, yeah. And then he's also just extremely handsome. Like he's so guys. hot, dude. Yeah. yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You didn't realize it when he's younger. Shaves his head, gets hotter. That's when I was like, this guy's a smoke. Show. Can't lose. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Who's yeah. who's hotter, him or Ronaldo? Oh, David Beckham is on another I think, planet. I think oh, it's really? Beckham, dude. Yeah. I think it's Beckham. on another planet. Beckham might be up there. Yeah. When you see him with the shaved head, you're like, dude, this guy is sex. Yeah. Two or sex. Yeah. Yeah. Two or sex, dude. But to be he a star was, athlete. He was enjoying this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch it, dude, and yeah. you'll see what I mean. What other athlete is as handsome as Beckham? LeBron. <laughs> Why y'all laugh, bro? I mean, I said it so y'all would laugh, but that's how you feel about LeBron. Y'all just no, laugh. He's not, no, he's not David Beckham. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I, I think LeBron <laughs> would agree with that. I think if he saw it, he'd be like, yeah, I know Beckham. Yeah. yeah. LeBron's toes alone, I think, disqualify yeah. From, yeah. from the Beckham combo. Tiger Woods? Nah, 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 come on, man. Sam. That's what I'm saying, bro. There's no, no not even close. No one that's as good that's as handsome. It's very rare. It's I mean, Tom Brady is the only other one. Oh, Tom Brady. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Tom yeah. Brady. Yeah. Yeah. And Ronaldo. And, and Ronaldo. Ronaldo's gorgeous, good gorgeous man. Mm-hmm. Okay, so documentary you thought was fair to his skill level. Like he was he was excelling and doing some pretty cool things. Mm-hmm. For the teams he was playing for, yeah, absolutely. I yeah. thought so. But I'm also like tainted. I grew up like watching him. And being like, oh, yeah, this is the best. Oh, really? I bought the cleats. I was like, dude, the fucking, yeah. The, du- yeah. the dust in it. Could he do something that other players can do? That bend it shit? 
Because uh, that's the only thing I heard from him. The, the like only that. reason I found out about him was from the movie. I was yeah, a little yeah, salty yeah. and bring up that I mean, he was like, movie, by the way. He was good at set pieces and had like legendary free kicks at like one insane game. So he had some very clutch moments. Yeah. And then he also was very good at setting people up around the net, right? Mm -hmm. So it's it's weird. Like when you're a casual soccer fan, it doesn't seem like it's hard to just kick the ball high and then people head it in. Mm -hmm. But placing that, I guess, is a yeah. very difficult skill and yeah. you have to be really good at it. Yeah. So people respected his assisting ability. Is yeah, that yeah. fair? I, I think so. Again, I'm not like an expert in Beckham. I didn't like watch yeah. him at the time with like soccer IQ. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, he, he was like known for set pieces. Yeah. And so corners, free kicks and like having clutch moments. Yeah. I Sorry. It was 2002 World Cup where he, they won against Greece. And yeah. This like, might be OD, but was there a time when he was considered the, the best player in the world? No. I don't think in so. the world. Not of all time. No, no. In the world. Because at the time, he's playing against OG Ronaldo. Ronaldo, Ronaldo which was yeah. like unstoppable. He wasn't the best player on his team. That's yeah. When he was playing Real Madrid, like yeah. there was probably multiple people that were better. Yeah. And yeah, that, I, that's where I was like, I feel like they're the way they talk. It's the same way they talk about Jordan on the Last Dance. Yeah. And that's a fluff piece, but it's in Jordan. So, who bro, that, but he might be the most famous in the world. Yeah. yeah. And it was cool. The owner of the Real Madrid. There's a really cool moment where uh, they, yeah. the owner, they asked the owner of Real Madrid. Like, why did you sign him? You already had this other guy named Luis Figo, I think it was his name. Yeah. Because you already had this other guy named Luis Figo playing on the right. And, um, and the owner just goes, uh, because he was going to make us millions of dollars. He tripled our revenue. He just says it. He tripled, he tripled our, our revenue. revenue. Oh, and wow. literally they're doing these, what are they called, friendlies or something yeah. like that? They take the team on the road and they play these games. Like they'll do it sometimes at MetLife or Yankee mm -hmm. Stadium here. And it's just an opportunity to, for people to go see these iconic teams in different places, but they get paid so much fucking money to do something like that. Oh, really? So you add a superstar like Beckham, who's the most popular player in the world at this time, you take him to fucking China. And the circus around him is crazy. Oh, I mean, I, yeah, the fame level is nuts. That's something that I admire how they handled it. Like, yeah, okay, you got some pussy on the side or whatever, but like- That's also true. Their ability to withstand that type of pressure- Yeah, that's true. And remain somewhat normal. Yeah. Like both of them seem kind of cool when you talk to them. Like, and I don't mean cool in terms of um, how they look or dress. Like, I don't give a fuck about the tattoos. Like and shit. grounded. Yeah, like like grounded. Like she seems kind of dope. Yeah, she's kind of like funny. Yeah, like she don't even really like soccer. Yeah, yeah. she's like, and she says, she's like, I just liked him. That one like, part, she's like, I'm going to work, and they're like, No, where are you really going? She's like, Get a facial. Yeah, <laughs> <they're> like, <laughs> but like she's like referential and like where she's at. I don't know. I thought it was cool. I like them. They're, yeah, they're they're quite interesting. That's a good point. You're to be that famous and it's not. Like, you see yeah. what it does to people, man. Even if you're acting a little more humble than you are, to not be a complete egomaniac nutbag at that level of fame, yep. you got to commend that. Yep. Yeah. To go and open the door to the room and say to your wife, yeah. when you're making your documentary, what type of car was it? Yeah. Well, there was a situation. What type of car? <laughs> One answer. Yeah. Rolls Royce. Yeah. <laughs> so that's it's fantastic. Fun. And for her to do it and let it be out there, cool. It's fantastic. See, and that's funny. I guess I have to watch this because I thought they were the opposite. I didn't think they that's were. That's what you would think. Because I thought they started the trend like naming their kids like some stupid ass name. They, they did a little bit. I feel like we're, they were started. Part of it. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's like then Apple son, and all these stupid ass son, names came out. You know what's so funny but, about that is that when I saw how young they were, yeah. Mm. It was he's like, like 23. He's like 23 or 24. Like you're a kid with a kid. So what would a kid do? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it, it, I remember judging it, but now that I'm fucking 39 years old yeah. and I'm seeing like a 23 or 24 year old kid who's like into looking cool fashion hairstyles, what you the same thing is going to be projected on your son. Mm, yeah. You're not going to be like, let me find a regal name that he'll be okay <laughs> with when he's a be like, no, nah, I'm going to name him Ferrari. Yeah. Yeah. Not even that you know, bad. Say again. Harper, Cruz, Romeo, and Brooklyn. The first two are Brooklyn, Brooklyn and Romeo. Romeo. Yeah, yeah, Brooklyn, I think Romeo. after Cruz. that, they're like, all right, let's chill the fuck out a little bit. Yeah. I heard Cruz, I heard, I don't know if this is true, is named after Tom Cruise? Get out of here. That's a little yeah, weird. Yeah, apparently Beckham was so starstruck when he met Tom Cruise. He was like, dude, this is unbelievable. That's a little weird. Apparently, that's what they said. They're like, cheat on her with a dude? <laughs> 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 that's the Scientology money. Dude. Yeah. That's what, that's what happened. Shit. Yeah. They, yeah. they were both going through a hard time. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's do some uh, feelings, no facts, uh, Marquis. Did you see Will Ferrell DJing at his old fraternity at USC? Yeah, and I think his son is in there now. Yeah, his son's at the fraternity. Really cool for him to show up and do it. And then plays the song that he's featured in. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm going to feature one yeah. song and one song only. Yeah. That's kind of fire, right? That is fire. Oh, got it, got it, got it. I mean, got Will it. Ferrell is a legend. I feel like people don't give him enough like, credit. 
Dude. for legend. He's one of the funniest people in the who history. Do, who who, the who doesn't fuck with Will Ferrell? I feel like Will Ferrell has the love that Jim Carrey had. Yeah. yeah. Where it's just like unanimous. Yeah. Yeah. Do you fuck with like black people fuck with Will Ferrell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. White people fuck with Will Ferrell? Mm -hmm. Asians, Indians, yeah, 100%. like. And he's handled it well. He's like at fucking colleges, like DJing. He's doing Having whatever he fun. wants. Yeah. Yeah. He played tennis with uh, Andy Murray. Did you see that? No. This is a few years ago. He's just like playing tennis. He just like handled fame, I feel like, so well, yeah. considering how famous he was. Yeah. There's also a little story. Like he turned down like 30 million to do Elf 2 because he just was like, I didn't have fun doing it. I don't oh, like really? 30 million. God damn. And then think That's about it. such a great movie, though. Something, yeah. yeah I, some, it was, I think it was 30 million. Some crazy amount of money. And it was yeah. like, he just didn't, I didn't enjoy it. I'm not going to do it. Wow. I feel like Adam Sandler is another one who's just, Yo, like, the man. just Go, always dude. been super cool. Like, the man. Never let it get to his head. Yeah. The man. <laughs> Motherfucker you know, will still play a pickup was... game every once in a while. Son, this is a He's thing nice. on, on set. He keeps a basketball as part of his writer. Oh, that's fine. Well, I mean, they're the producers. So they do it so that they play half-court ball. Mm -hmm. Like, they just have it there, or there's one in close proximity, and that's what they'll do when they'll take breaks. And he's nice. Yeah, he's nice. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> I like that his little PR moves. When a movie's coming out, he'll, like, go to some random street ball. Yeah. You know, game and, like, play with some guys. That's it's great. such good PR. They're like, hey, we got to promote the movie. He's like, fine, I'll play basketball. Yeah. Like, he just goes and plays pickup. Like, it's perfect. It's like, I don't want a podcast. All right, fine. I'll hoop with some yeah. strangers. Yeah. yeah. Did you see the Psy concert in Korea? Now, I've seen this clip. Yeah. So Psy is obviously Gangnam Style. And it shows him popping out of a uh, like a, a hole, I guess, underneath the stage. It's like a little elevator. So sick. And they just performs for all of Korea. But they do this every <laughs> summer. Oh, so this is like his summer concert, apparently. Uh, and they've been doing it for like 20 years or some shit like yeah. that. Yeah, but look at this. Watch. It's crazy. I mean, crazy. And people are going nuts. I mean, look yeah. at that. I mean, that's insane. I mean... Kind of a legend, right? Oh, what a Incredible. legend. I saw him perform live. Wait, but does he just perform that one song? No, he's a big artist there. We just got Gangnam Style. Oh. But I saw him live at the VMAs, or the, sorry, the EMAs when I was That's in Europe. song over and over. <laughs> just 20 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, he was the best performer on the show by far to the point where they didn't plan on putting him in the show and they changed the edit to include him. Wow. Yeah, wow. And... I'm telling you, by far the best performance. It was, and not just because the song was hot. They had other like big fucking musicians yeah. there. Like this is the European Music Music Awards or whatever. Murdered everybody. Whoa. Murdered. Mm. Unbelievable talent. Engaging dance. Like he looks dopey and he looks like he like runs a fucking dry cleaning business. But in reality, the guy is a fucking superstar. It, it was unbelievable to see. The shows are apparently four hours long. So long, sometimes they take a break for people to like to cool catch down. their breath. Did you, see, did you see them cool down the audience with the sprinklers? Yeah, it was cool. Yeah, literally, everyone's dancing and they're like, "Okay, we got to chill the audience down because they're going too crazy." Wow! And they like fucking put sprinklers to like cool everyone down. Three hours in, that's fire. People are sweating so that's bad. Dope. Like cool. Yeah, down. yeah, that would be cool. Like, I would love to see Bad Bunny in Puerto Rico. He's from Puerto Rico, right? Yeah. I'd love to see the biggest Brazilian artist in Brazil. Like, see. Psy in South Korea. Yeah. I, that'd be a cool cultural moment. Yeah. Like seeing like Shakira at the height of her fame in Colombia. She from Colombia? Yeah. yeah. Maybe she's Colombia, right? No. But anyway, seeing that too. energy around it, like. Yeah. I feel like Koreans, though, I think they party different, though. They're, they're go, like a unit. They're like militant partiers. You know what I mean? You yeah. see them go, like they are, they're all linked up, all in unison. I feel like you go to like Puerto Rico, they might be doing their own thing. What do you think, Al? Be honest. Be it Bad Bunny's performing. I feel like Puerto Ricans are not in unison like the Koreans. You guys, nah. you saying, what are you saying? Yeah, what are you saying? I think Koreans are the most militant partiers, dude. Like, they're, these are fucking organized people. You Do you see the video? They all are linked up. They all have the same... Why are you guys not riding with me? Right what the I'm fuck, just bro? Saying, <laughs> just saying, it sounds like you're making a statement about Puerto Ricans. Yeah, like, I know. What are you trying Puerto to say? Puerto Ricans are less mean? organized, dude. If you go to a Puerto Rican yeah. concert, people are going to be doing their own things. Their own you got to get out of Williamsburg. They get it to you right nah, now. Bro. <laughs> Puerto Ricans they are. The Puerto you. Ricans are. That is true. They've been fucking bugging me. I live what? above the social club, dude. Oh, that's fine. Wait, yeah. what? I live above the Puerto Rican social club. What? Which is? This is the fucking where the Puerto Ricans link up. That's Mecca. But is there an indoor location for that? No. It's indoor, and then it goes through, and then it goes underneath my balcony. Get the fuck out of yeah, here. Yeah. Every night. <laughs> yeah. Bugging me, dude. I wish I had the Korean social club. It'd be much more quiet, I think. Much more polite. It would end at 12. <laughs> but no. Not these Puerto Ricans, dude.
Do you not agree? What is happening right now? What is going? Why are y'all icing me right now, dude? No, like Koreans party more militant. Why would you do this? Why would you do this? What's wrong with seeing your sister in underwear? The Koreans are more. That's, what is happening? <laughs> Puerto Ricans got your whole family in them drawers, bro. <laughs> He's a Puerto Rican boy. Shit. Oh my god. No, you're good. You're good. You're good. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, what else we got, Mark? <laughs> Give us one more. Mark is gonna kill. <laughs> oh, we gotta talk about the fight. Next oh yeah, week. yeah, 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 yeah. We coming out next week. Is it happening? Yo, Dylan's there. Yeah. He seems ready, man. He ain't flying all the way out to Manchester to pull out. Yeah. I think Dylan's fighting, yo. I think I think Dylan's fighting. I think Dylan truly believes he can win. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He believes it. He believes it. I think Dylan thinks I think he can win. You think he he's winning? Yeah. Interesting. What yeah, what do you guys think? I think I'm riding with Dylan. I think it goes a decision, and I think Logan gets on decision. That's interesting. I think he got in Logan's head so much where Logan is going to probably go for some fury shit, and then Dylan will just catch him. He'll get in close. They are only doing six rounds, though, right? They're not doing eight? I think that's why Dylan is pushing for more rounds. I think, I think Mark's assessment is right. I think Logan wins the decision. And I think there will be a lot of like grabbing and a lot of kind of holding. I don't think it will be a beautiful boxing match, mm -hmm. but I don't know if Logan will be able to hurt him. And I think that in the clinch, I think Dylan can really probably control him. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think what will happen is Logan will win the decision, but it will be kind of ugly. And I think that he'll lose the PR war. The big, oh, you got, you said you were supposed to knock him out. You said you were going to do all these things and you couldn't even knock him out. I actually think Dylan's victory will be not getting knocked out. And I don't think he's going to get knocked out. I, I, yeah. I think Dylan's chin is good and I think his ability to like withstand punishment is high. Yeah. I think he, there's also a chance he gets it disqualified because I think he's going to do something silly in the ring. Ooh. I, mean, I think oh, that's yeah, yeah, equally yeah. as likely. I think he's going to try to kick him. get him. In he's going to lose on points if nothing else. Like He's going to like clinch him up and like choke him out, yeah. and he's going to lose. Yeah, that's one he's thing. I, yeah, I don't think he cares about that. Yeah. Because I kept bringing up, like, you can't do that. And he's like, so? Yeah, I know. <laughs> he kind of yeah, told us that. Point. Yeah. yeah, I don't think he cares about a boxing match. I think he just cares about, like, fighting Logan and being in the, in the ring with him. And yeah. Him. Now, Logan said in their face-to-face -face that if – Dylan shows up, he'll have an MMA fight. I saw that. They shook hands on that. Yeah. Yeah, that's a bad idea. I don't think he will. Yeah. That's, you can't, right? No. Nah, that's a bad idea. There'd be no debate on that one. Now, if Logan knocks him out immediately, he can do it. You have to get an actual KO. Yeah, it has to be a KO. Yeah. And he can do it because he'll just be so confident. All I got to do is touch him. And now I got these little gloves. I'm going to touch him again. Mm -hmm. But if it's a six-round decision, you don't want to take that into MMA. No. Yeah. no, 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 But still, I'm, I'm glad this fight is going to happen. I'm glad they're going to settle it. And I hope that Dylan uh, stops suing him. I, I don't like this at all. Logan, Logan stops, stops suing him. Sorry, I hope Logan stops suing him. Or Nina stops suing him. Yeah. I hope they just settle it at the fight. It's over, squash, done. I also hope Dylan drops all the shit with Nina. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, which I don't know if he's mentioned anything else since. He has. Yes. Today? Yeah. yeah. No, oh, really? Every morning. Friday. Really? Yeah. Wow. Just another pick. Yeah. yeah, unnecessary. I think the last one I saw, it was like a Photoshop FaceTime call. And oh, yeah. He's behind Nina while Logan's on the call. Wow. Yeah, it's a bit I thought he has a thing. <laughs> yeah, distasteful. Yeah. 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 Yeah, wow. It's interesting. I mean, he was just so likable on the episode and he was just so funny and he didn't even have to barely bring it up once. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I yeah. You hope that that sticks yeah. with him. Didn't seem to. <laughs> <laughs> it might be just such an easy button to go to and something that's so rewarded. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure he felt the reaction to the episode. Yeah. I mean, there's so many people that hit me up and they were just like, wow, you guys made me love Dylan Danis. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right? Like, it was just crazy. Yeah. So when he, It was a funny episode, man. Yeah. When he gets 10% vulnerable, he's 100% more likable. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited to see them fight. We'll be out there. Yeah, y'all are going to be out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that'll be cool. Yeah, man. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. And then pressure. Tommy and KSI. So yeah. interesting to see that fight. Overshadowed. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't even care Low key, about. like, do you make Logan and Dylan the main event? Like, yeah. after that Logan-Dylan fight, 
I know we're in England and like obviously and these are huge about. superstars in England. Fair enough. Mm. So they're going to obviously care about their beef. But this is like, I think Dylan and Logan is like global. Yeah. yeah. Like my interest in the car dissipates after Dylan yeah. and Logan. Mm. And I like KSI. And I actually kind of like Tommy. Yeah. Seems like a good guy. Um, Does KSI have any chance in that one? I don't know boxing, but I don't see it. Bro, I, the kid hits hard. That's, That's what I fact. hear. Yeah. But I think it's I think it's hard to hit a guy who's boxed since they were a kid. Yeah. Even if Tommy Fury's not an elite boxer, like he's not fucking Terrence, you know, Bud Crawford, he's still someone who's been in the ring with people that are really good at throwing their hands. Yeah. And that kind of experience helps when you're up against, for example, Jake. He Tommy Jake just looked hard. more experienced. Yeah. He's right? just flowing in it. Yeah. yeah. So he understood what Jake was doing, was able to protect himself from it. Now, I mean, to give Jake credit, Jake dropped him still. Yeah. And it wasn't, it wasn't, it was a close fight, but you can make the argument. There's no way KSI is able to put the time into boxing that Jake does. Yeah. That's all Jake does. Yeah. KSI's got 50 fucking shows going on, yeah. charity events, you know, the dating thing Prime. that they do. To put, it's like, how could you do all that and focus on boxing? Do you think being so unorthodox or whatever would help him as a boxer? It will help in, Tommy? It will help in the beginning. It will absolutely help in the beginning. Because Tommy's not going to know how to deal with like the way the punches. You're a traditional thrown. boxer. You're used to other traditional boxers. Yeah. So it will help in the beginning, but usually what happens is as you get tired and the other people start to see what you do that's unorthodox, you're unorthodox, but it's repetitive. Mm -hmm. And once you see the holes in that style, you get a lot Fun. easier to touch. Okay. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. I mean, like, dude, imagine KSI beats Tommy. Uh oh. I mean, what Crazy. a fucking. Oh my God. Yeah. Imagine he knocks out Tommy. Like that Jake KSI fight. Huge. Explodes. Yeah. Huge. I mean, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. Imagine Dylan beats Logan. <laughs> Jake Dylan. Yeah. Yeah. And Dylan doesn't even have to take it if he doesn't want to. Yeah. He could say, I won. You come fight me in MMA. Oh, shit. And Jake might do it. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, he would take his KSI bag first. He would fight Tommy again, and then maybe. I mean, what a fucking weekend. Well, Jake got a few good bags coming to him either way, it seems like. Yeah. 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 Wow, it's it's weird. It's almost like the pressure's really on Logan here. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Way more. Dylan's got nothing to lose. If Logan wins in dominant fashion, it's really interesting to see how, like, the internet will adjust. It's hard to not respect somebody knocking someone out. Yeah. So he'll have all these people that are really invested in his, you know, downfall, but then they see you knock another human being out and then they go, oh, I got to respect that at least. They might not verbalize it, but they'll say, okay, I can't, I, I can't hate on the fact that you just concussed another human being. Yeah. yeah. There's but like a primal respect for The him. mental battle for Logan will be higher than the technical battle, I think. 100. Yeah, I think Logan is a more technically better boxer than Dylan. But yeah. the mental challenge that he's up against with like, okay, my girl's on the line. Yeah. Like not literally, but like in the eyes of the public, my yeah. reputation. Also, like, you didn't think he was going to show up. Yeah. Like what's going through Logan's brain right now? This whole camp, he was like, he's not really going to show up. Yeah. Now <laughs> he's there. What the <laughs> fuck are you thinking? Yeah. You've been planning for Mike Perry and him. Now you have to adjust to the fact that this fight is real. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> so that would be impressive. Dylan got a chance. Yeah. To see Logan push through that would be interesting. I just didn't see, like like you said it, Jake, Jake has, like, knockout power, mm -hmm. and that's something you're born with. I don't know that Logan has that, mm -hmm. and without that, either you went on points, which is kind of a loss for you, or Dylan gets it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Because Dylan's not going down unless you can land a fucking shot, dude. You saw that guy's head. It was crazy. But I do think he will disqualify himself with... Or that. Yeah. Like, doing dumb shit that he'll lose points and then lose on points. Which I hope he doesn't do. Just fucking... Come on. Yeah. Finish the fight. Yeah. Well, guys, that has been flagrant. Thank you guys so much for watching, listening. We appreciate you. We love you. We'll see you on Patreon on Friday. Patreon.com slash flagrant. Peace.